right, we're on day three of the Yakuza Marathon. So, recapping what happened last time. This is Akiyama, our new protagonist. Uh, maybe Kiryu and some and other people show up later, but for right now it's just Akiyama. He is a money lender who was formerly homeless, but he got a cash windfall when the Millennium Towers uh, explo when the Millennium Tower exploded in Yakuza Kiwami 1. And somehow he managed to pick up enough of the scattered bills that were fluttering down from the top of the tower to create his own investing firm. Uh, then, and he loans money to people without c charging interest or needing collateral or guarantor for their loans. He does it just out of the goodness of his heart. He's trying to help out people who are in desperate situations. But he always has them go through a test, basically to prove whether they're moral slash responsible. And currently a woman named Lily, or at least she says her name is Lily, we don't know if that's a real name, has come to him saying that she needs a loan of, I believe, 30 million yen. So he's having her work as a hostess for him in his hostess club and says that if she can earn 3 million yen in three days, he will guarantee her the loan. And so far, she worked one. She worked a half day or like a partial day, and she made 500,000 yen on her first day. And now she's going to go on to uh, continue that. Also, Akiyama is romantically interested in her, and he kisses her on a rooftop after knowing her for one day. And she also accepts the kiss, even though he's in a power position over her because he's her money lender. Uh, then there is all the crime stuff going on. Which is, okay, so there are, there's a tiny little family called the Kanamura family, which is a family that only had five members in it. And there's a guy named Kido, and there's like two other young guys. Then there's a guy named Arai, who saved, uh, when Akiyama was homeless and was uh, being attacked by the homeless hunters, Arai came and saved him. So Akiyama uh, is grateful to him and was bankrolling the the Kanimura family and his terms were that the current head that the head of the Kanimura family would step down and retire from Yakuza life and let Arai take over the family however uh, there's another family called the Awena Saiwa clan who I guess were muscling in on their turf they get into a fight it's implied that it's a setup because the, the two guys that were there didn't know or, or like suspected that they were being set up. So probably the Ueno Saiwa clan is setting this whole thing up in the first place as a power play. Uh, they get into a fight and Arai, at least it looks like he winds up shooting one of the Ueno guys in the head and then flees. We don't actually see him kill him, but I mean, he chased after him and then he's standing in front of him in an alleyway with a bullet wound to the head, so. It seems like <clears throat> it seems like Arai did it, and now he's on the lam. And also, the head of the Kanimura family was found dead, and it's suspected that he was killed by a woman because they found like lipstick all over him or something. I guess he was knifed in the back or something. But they also suspect that cause of death because they say, "Oh, Kanimura wasn't the type of guy who would get swindled by a woman." And then we see, I don't know, what, so there's another family called the Shibata family. I don't know why they're involved in this, but they're basically trying to make amends with the Ueno Saiwa clan. And then there's a Tojo clan meeting where the Ueno Saiwa guy is, for some reason, even though they're supposed to be a tiny, tiny little family, everyone is trying to capitulate to them and, and give some kind of reparations to close the matter. Daigo offers them a mountain of cash and... Uh, the Shibata family head comes in with his pinky cut off to make amends. And then the Uenosawa guy says, Oh no, we don't want that. We want to, we want Arai. We want to have him killed as compensation. And then he makes up some bullshit about how, Oh, the guy he killed was, Oh, we promoted him to a lieutenant that day. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's for honor or whatever. And then he makes him uh, a, an, kind of an ultimatum, which he says, Okay, either give us Arai, which... They don't know where Arai is because he's on the lam. Or, he says, you can give us uh, Majima's construction business of Kamurocho Hills, which is a hundred billion yen enterprise. 
as compensation. Which, I mean, bullshit. Like, Majima's ever going to go along with that. Plus, how do you make amends by just, like, giving... Like, the Majima family has nothing to do with any of this. Okay, whatever. Also, the opening movie implies that... Uh, Majima's brother in prison and, uh, by extension, Majima and Kiryu and some other guy are also going to be involved in all of this somehow at some point. Uh, Akiyama has a secretary named Hana-chan. She's not really involved in the plot right now. And then there's also another guy who is like a detective or something. And he also stumbled upon the scene where the body was in the alley. Uh, and didn't help out Akiyama, even though he was a witness and could have claimed that and could have told the police that Akiyama wasn't the one responsible. Uh, we haven't seen him return since. And then there's also another detective, I believe his name's Sugi Uchi, who's like this older, uh, embittered guy who doesn't like Akiyama, but they're def but they are supposedly giving him an escort because. They know that the Shibata family's after Akiyama, I think because they believe he knows where Arai is, even though he doesn't. And I think that is everything. So right now, we've got this substore on the map to go to. This one right here. Uh, we haven't done all the karaoke. Of course, none of the hostess stuff is done. We've only met one of the, we've only met a few of the hostesses, and so far. Uh, they're not crazy, like the ones from Yakuza 3. Uh, also, we got to stop by Lily to see Lily at the club. And also... Uh, I forget what the main plot thing we're doing right now is, but... We'll get back to that at certain at some point. Alright, what's the sub-story? I filled all his requirements. I know I did, so why won't he lend me my money? What does he want from me? Those rumors about Sky's finance were nothing but a pack of lies. That bastard Akiyama, he won't get away with this. Huh. He's talking about me. I don't remember ever seeing him before, though. Excuse me, did I hear you say something about Sky Finance just now? What is it to you, pal? Beat it. Well, it's just that Sky Finance. Didn't I tell you to beat it? I don't have time for this crap. Okay, okay. I wish I could hear more, but this joker won't give me the time of day. Um... Well, okay then. Hey, I'm here to train Lily. Is she in? Yes, sir. She's waiting in the back room. Oh, before you go, here are the funds we set aside for trading. Please limit your spending on her to this alone. Guess I don't have much choice. Good idea keeping this separate from the club's finances, though. You got 100,000 yen in training funds. I'll also assign Naoki to assist you. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you, sir. I'll help however I can. Sounds good. Now then, let me know show you to the back room. Pick out outfit for your hostess. You can choose different types of clothing, makeup, and other items. There are only a small number of clothes available. Do it first, but you will get more as you go along. However, getting new clothes and accessories costs money. Your best. Yeah, okay. It's the same exact thing as the last game. All right, let's dress her up. Okay. Oh, wait. Hmm. Well... I mean, once again, I don't know what the heck the difference between any of these is. Makeup. Looking in your eyes. For your mind. Nah, okay, cancel. No, don't confirm the settings. I mean, okay, yes, I guess we're confirming the makeup. Accessories. To the beat of my heart. Earrings. Oh, really? Do we once again not have any indication of what these do? Oh, wonderful. She's already wearing an elegant necklace. Rings. Okay, yeah, screw this. I'm just cheesing this. I am not playing detective and, you know, doing trial and error over and over, trying to figure out what does what. Okay. Use a four hostess guide. If there was some indication, like if the items had descriptions that actually mattered. Okay. 
What do we need to do? Ugh. Okay, the dress she's wearing, apparently that's not a good dress. Somehow. Alright, outfit selection. We need to choose either the charming bear top, the mini skirt dress, or the mermaid dress. Okay, mermaid dress. Charming bear top, or... Uh, or this one. Yeah, okay, not that one. This one looks good, this one looks good. Alright, let's go with this one. Makeup. Short hair. Oh, wait. Accessories revert save load. Hmm. Wait, so where's just hair? We can't do hair yet? All right, eyebrows. Eyebrows number one. And then color for some reason. Eyelashes. Oh, eyelashes. Eyelashes two is the correct eyelashes. Oh, eyeliner. Oh, sorry, no eyeliner is wrong. We need to pick eyeliner number one. Row one, column two. Sure. Eyeshadow. Oh, we have to turn eyeshadow on. Not having eyeshadow is incorrect. And then row four, column three. Like, I can't even imagine how long it would take to just trial and error your way through this. Glitter eyeshadow on. Color contacts on, apparently. Row three, column three. Blush on. And then top left blush, okay. Glitter blush on. Lipstick. Number two is the correct lipstick, apparently. Even though I think that looks terrible, but okay. Lipstick number two, row three, column one. All right. Yep, that's fine, apparently. Okay, accessories. Let's go with, uh... All right, we don't have any hair accessories yet. Earrings. We need heart earrings. Necklaces. Uh, no necklace, apparently. Nails. Oh, we don't have nails. Watch. We need a simple watch. And then a bracelet. We need the jewel bracelet, apparently. A luxurious gem bracelet. Like, again, how would you know that you need this? Okay. Apparently that's all correct, somehow. Confirm settings. Okay, I was expecting higher stats than that, but all right. I guess I don't have the full outfit unlocked. All right, go to club. Looking good, you think so? Of course, now go get them. Okay, I'll do my best. Get a feel for your customer's preferences, walk around. And unlike the last game, you have to do this. This is mandatory main main story stuff that you have to do. Incredible. Oh, I want refined women. Refined women, apparently. That's what he wants. All right, what do we got? 
Oh, ladies who are refined. I think I'm done surveying. Time to head back. Oh god, at least it tells you this time. Can you go down here? Oh, you can go down here. I was requesting Lily Chan. What would you like to know about mich missions? Missions? Tell me about my current mission. Your current mission is to try to make your girl the number one ho- Oh, okay. All right, we need to make her refined. So let's dress her up. All right, I guess let's save this outfit so we don't have to recreate it each time. Save these settings. Can I name it? Okay, good. This one is the, the cute. Yeah, let's just, uh, it'll be cute and then we'll just override it. All right. All right, that's cute. Now we need to go back to outfit selection. Oh wait, actually this charming bear top is not part of the cute selection. The mini skirt dress is part of the cute selection. I completely overlooked that. All right, let's save that as cute. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's do the refined one. This one. Don't have any hair yet. Eyebrows are the same. But everything else is off. Eyelashes are off. Eyeliner's off. My shadow's off. Glitter eyeshadow off. Color contacts off. Blush on. Top left. Yep, that's still correct. Glitter blush off. Lipstick. It's a different lipstick apparently for a refined look. And then we're done. Hair accessory we won't have. Earrings. Petite earrings. Okay, let me... Can I... Can I get these? Okay. These earrings make you feel like the cutest girl. Okay, that one at least has cute in the name. Petite earrings. Completely and simple refreshing. All right. And then the showy earrings are the gorgeous ones. How would you even know that? You just have to surmise it. All right, petite earrings. The necklace. Oh, we need, we need an elegant necklace. Rings. Simple watch and. Oh, there's no no rings required for any of these. Hmm. Watches. Simple watch is still correct but apparently the pearl bracelet is more refined than the jewel bracelet. Yeah, obviously, well, much more refined. Okay, this is the refined outfit, apparently, for some, somehow. Refined. Okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, sure. Okay.
Oh my gosh, we're super refined. Go to club. My gosh, she's been requested by someone, I guess. Oh, there she is. Lily Chan has a ton of customers requesting her. All right, I guess we're good. Whoops, haven't scoped up the... Oh. Okay. Oh, I want a refined woman, a unicorn. They simply don't exist these days. How, how much do I have to walk to scope the club out? Okay, I think I'm done surveying the club. I guess let's go make the gorgeous dress. Just to be done with it. All right, still still needs to be... All right. So what does the stupid gorgeous dress need? Or the gorgeous look? Okay, mermaid dress. Oh, am I going to even be able to afford this? Hmm. Makeup. Eyebrows number three for some reason. Row one, column three. Eyelashes two left. Okay. Eyeliner. Number four, top left. Whoops. Nope. No, obviously the top left eyeliner is better. Oh my god, that just looks miserable. That looks absolutely miserable. Eyeshadow on row four, column four. Glitter eyeshadow on. God, that looks terrible. Color contacts on three, two. Blush. On top left. Glitter blush. On. Lipstick. Lipstick is two. Okay. And it's this one. Don't have headbands yet. All right. We need a chain necklace. Oh, we're over budget. Can't get the chain necklace yet. Nails, watch, bracelet. The bracelet reverts to the jewel bracelet. Okay. So we're going to save this as... Gorgeous, flashy, I guess gorgeous. Change name, change name. Oh, change the name of what it's saved as. Okay, gotcha. All right, we're sticking with refined for the time being. My gosh, she's still got customers. Okay, have we scoped the club out yet? Oh, I like my girls refined and classy. Is that sufficiently scoped or do I have to? Yeah, okay, there we go. All right. Just gotta walk around this every time. Thank you, I'll contact you later about the results. See you next time. Now that's settled, it's time to pay Marimba a little visit. Just gotta stroll over to the champion district. Oh, okay, apparently we're done with that. All right then.
All right, we're checking out a new bar, right? Okay. Marimba, this is the place. Hmm, it's locked. Anybody home? It's Akiyama from Sky Finance. No response. Oh, I guess I'll just have to come back later. Huh? Drama Queen? This is the place Lily said she used to work. Oh, no. It's the girl from Earth Angel. Hey, cutie, you into that sort of thing? I'm sorry, you were talking, taking a mighty long look at Drama Queen there. So what if I was? <laughs> oh, you naughty boy, you know that's an Okama bar, right? <laughs> what, am, what am I saying? Of course you do. I don't know what an Okama, an Okama bar. You serious? Mm-hmm, and you looked awfully interested. Just saying, don't worry though, I'm not judging. Oh, it's not like that. It's just, I know this girl who used to work here is all. Sure you do. I'm in denial there too, honey. The manager here is totally my type, but he's straight as an arrow. Says he only dates real girls. Sorry to hear that. Not the most open-minded guy in the world. Nope. But hey, forget him. Come have a drink over where I work. I'll give you a stiff one on the house. Sorry, but I'm going to have to take a rain check. Things to do, places to be, you know, maybe some other time, okay? Anything you say, hot stuff, I'll be waiting. Drama Queen's in Okama Bar, huh? Why would Lily lie about working there? Maybe I should head inside. It would help if I knew what an Okama Bar was. Oh, okay. Apparently, we just let ourselves in. What the? Oh my gosh, is this the third dead body we found? He's dead! Must have been like this for a few days now by the smell of it. The Shibata family crest. I guess that means the owner was in cahoots with the Shibata. Question mark. Oh, get Reeks in here. He's probably been rotting for a while now. Yeah, you should have... If that was the case, you should have smelled that, like, all the way at the entrance. Lighters with the bar's name on it. They probably hand them out to customers in the hopes that other people will see it. Viral marketing or whatever. These are just like the one Lily-chan had. You remember what kind of lighter she had? Is that everything to examine? There's the body. All right, I don't think there's anything else to examine. Okay, Google. What is an Okama bar? I mean, is it, what, is it a drag bar? Is that what it is? Homosexual or transvestite, okay, yeah. So it's a, it's a drag queen bar, basically. That's probably all I'm going to find. I better get out of here before someone sees me. Wouldn't it make more sense to call the cops immediately and say, hey, I found this? Drama Queen's manager is dead, murdered, and a few days ago by the looks of it. What is this music? He was practically naked, too. Just like how Kido-chan found old man Kanamura. Was it the same killer? Maybe someone from the Shibata family? You okay, sweetie? You look like you just saw a ghost. Well, okay, so... Okay, so she's, a, you know, the comma bar girl, right? But she doesn't look like a man in drag. She looks like a woman who just has, like, freakishly huge muscles. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess maybe? Maybe from this angle? Hmm. You don't sound okay. Why don't you come relax over at my bar? I appreciate the offer, but I've got places to be. Sorry. Oh, you're no fun. Okay, now you should 100% call the police because you just got seen walking out of the building and by a witness. Head for Sky Finance. Where's where's the call the police option? Sticking around here, it'll just land me in trouble. More trouble. Need to get back to Sky Finance. Call the police. All right. Apparently, we're not doing that. God, what a pain, finding a dead body and then not calling the oh, okay. 
花ちゃんしっかりしろあ社長お帰りなさい一体何があったんだそ,それが Uh, isn't he supposed to have a police escort? We just established in the previous scene that he has a police escort, and now he just doesn't. Ah, Kido san, go me na sai! Choto kai mono ni itte te! Ah, すみません Kate ni o jama してます He stashed something. Ah, but so nani nagaku wa kakara nai to mou kara matte te kudasai! There's no reason to show us that close up unless he stashed something there. Ah, oka mai naku! どうしたんですか何か忘れ物とかいやちょっと秋山さんに確認し忘れたことがあって携帯にかけたんですけど繋がらなくてああそうでしょう社長いっつも寄り道して遊んでるのを邪魔されるのが嫌で携帯の電源切ってるんですよおかげで仕事が片付かない片付かない<笑>秋山さんらしいですねお客さんって感じじゃねえなまた降りない人たちだな<笑>すみませんけど帰ってもらえます社長も外出してますしそれでも用があるいや、yeah, I thought we established in an earlier scene that Hanachan's actually like an incredible fighter <笑>危ない花ちゃん<笑>花ちゃん Sorry, Chief. I tried to stop them, but. No, I should have been here to protect you. I'm the one who should apologize. Was it those Shibata goons again? No, it was some guy named Midorikawa. Midorikawa. From the Hatsushiba clan. Hatsushiba clan? That's right. And he said something about their boss and Shibata being really tight. The guy really knew how to run his mouth. He kept telling me stuff I didn't even ask about. It sounds like the Hatsushiba clan was helping the Shibata family track down Kido-san. They're after Kido-chan. Where- wait. She says son, he says Chan? Hmm. They're after Kido-chan. Where is he anyway? That's just it. Kido-san was here when they showed up. Midorikawa's guys- Midorikawa's guys jumped him. Then they hauled him off to who knows where. They took Kido-chan. He didn't stand a chance. He was completely outnumbered. Hmm. Um, Chief? Oh, sorry, just thinking about something. So they took Kido chan. The question is why? No idea. Oh, that, Mid that Midorikawa guy also stole our client registry. It sounded like that's what brought them here in the first place. He said he was just borrowing it, but I seriously doubt he'll be bringing it back anytime soon. Our registry? What would they want with that? Who knows? I'm more worried about Kido san. Agreed. Sounds like I need to pay those Hatsushiba goons a little visit. Collect on what they borrowed. Watch Akiyama get up and just leave her here without any medical attention. Go get him, Chief. Just don't do anything crazy, okay? I'm not gonna leave you like this, Hanachan. And where the hell are the cops? Didn't anyone see those bastards bust in? Don't worry about me. I already called for an ambulance. You found her passed out on the floor with a head wound. What do you mean you already called for an ambulance? Hey, <laughs> you really are on top of everything, aren't you? Well, sit tight. I'm gonna go get Keto-chan and the registry back. You got it, Chief. Better start looking for leads on Midorikawa. Man, oh man, the perfect shot's so close, I can almost- Oh, okay. It's, uh, Mac, right? You there, did you see those tough dudes flashing their muscles like it's nobody's business? Nothing quite as dangerous as a thug with something to prove. But hey, that's what Kamurocha is all about. The glitz, the glamour, the gigantic guys shaking down passers-by. Not that I like that last part. Tough dudes. Maybe he's talking about Midorikawa. Hold on there, buddy. Think we can talk for a sec? Sorry for flagging you down like that. Mind if we chat for a few? <laughs> of course not. I love talking to washed-up porn stars. I'm Mac, photographer by trade, observer of humanity at heart, and I mean all of humanity. You know, I'm thinking like, they say, uh, Yakuza number, Yakuza three. Okay, guys, what are we gonna do? What's the gimmick gonna be this time? Oh, how about Kiryu's running an orphanage and 
you know, there's a bunch of orphan stuff that you got to do, and, you know, you got to talk to the kids and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's great. That'll lead to lots of, you know, great character moments and storylines. Okay, oh, we're in Yakuza 4. What's the gimmick going to be this time? I've got it. Rooftops. Also, if you look middle right of the screen, there's a locker key. Got to remember that. Right, and sorry to break it to you, but I'm actually a moneylender. I run a place called Sky Finance right over there. The name's Akiyama. I was hoping you'd be able to fill me in on those tough dudes you were talking about before. Yeah. Sure thing, slick. These scary looking dudes were, fil were filing down the street one after the other like the world's least cheerful conga line. Wasn't sure what was happening, but I knew something mega was about to hit. I was practically quaking in my sensible boots. Back up a second. You mentioned something about a shot too. Do you take pictures of this kind of stuff as it goes down? These aren't any old pictures, man. I've been traveling the world for what feels like eons, searching for the photographer, for the, for the photograph to end all photographs. The perfect shot. Uh-huh. Look at me running my mouth like it's in a dang marathon. Akiyama-san, have you ever seen a sight so incredible it made you realize something about the nature of the world? Uh, not that I can remember. Folks call those revelations. A flash of inspiration, a spark in the old noggin, a rush of idea juice flood in your mind. Yeah, that's definitely never happened to me before. Then maybe it's about time it does. And what's more, these revelations hold the key to the perfect shot. I'm sure of it. Hey, hey, something just occurred to me. Is the the voice actor does the hey line from Mac? Is that the same guy who does Bacchus in Yakuza 0? Yeah, sure. I'll uh, keep that in mind anyway about those tough dudes you mentioned. Yeah. Hold up. The greatest idea just snapped across my neurons. Maybe you can help me try to find the perfect shot. I mean, sure, but I'd really rather just hear about... Then it's settled. Come on, it's hunting time, and we're hunting the biggest game of all. Art. Guess I'm just going to have to put up with this nut job for now. Oh. Don't look now, Akiyama okay, side, but I just caught a glimpse of something good. Train your eyes on that rooftop over there. Something's up with that lady. And you're going to snap a shot of whatever it is. All you've got to do is whip it out. Is whip it out. Your phone, I mean. And etch that moment into digital divinity. Don't worry. The government probably won't see your photos later. My phone camera, huh? All right. I'll see what I can do. All right. Look at stuff and then do things. Just ask me if you're shooting in the dark and I can recite all that to you verbatim. Really, every word will be exactly the same. That would snap. Those leaps and bounds or something else. What's with the suspenders? You know that girl was actually kind of cute. I guess this one. <laughs> oh, we're going to learn Majima style jumps and kicks and whatnot. I've seen the light. Hey, Mac, is this the kind of mail you want? Man, there really are some perverted freaks in Kamurocho, but I was able to unlock a new technique from his movements. They were almost a work of art. It's a revelation! <laughs> Learn the essence of triple strike. Well, that was a thing that happened. Yes! Wowee, Akiyama-san, you really did it. I think I'm ready to let my, photograph my photographic prodigy out in the wild. Sniffle. I guess that means old Mac is an empty nester again. There, there, big guy. I'll text you whenever I find a new shot, okay? It'll be like I never left. 
Anyway, I think you can tell me about those guys you were talking about before. Oh, right. It totally slipped my mind. I saw them clamber down the stairs and out onto Tenkaichi Street, but I lost them right after that. Hard to see through all the buildings, you know. Tenkaichi Street. Got it. That's not much of a lead. Thanks for the info, Mac. You got it. May your humble camera lead you to unforgettable discoveries. Is it really going to tell me that this blah, blah, blah has been added to the memo screen every single time? I need to find Kido-chan on our client registry, but I have no idea where that Midori, Midori Kawa guy went. Better start asking around. Looking for that perfect shot? Then I have a newsletter for you. This, bring, this week brings two beauties. First up, we have a kidnapper who's taken to the rooftops. You can also see a sexy detective facing off against the kidnapper in question. Definitely a sight to see. And for number two, a married couple wages a bitter war in Little Asia. That would shock a kung fu action star. I just can't get enough. Sorry, mind if I ask a question? Did you see any Yakuza looking guys around here? Oh, all the time. This is Kamurocho. Why did something happen? They took a friend of mine. They stole my account book. What? That's terrible. An account book is a company's lifeblood. Agreed. I can't run my business without it. Those guys over there look like trouble. See them? The Yakuza looking brutes in the middle of the square. They're definitely up to something. What? Kind of suspicious, don't you think? Maybe you should go see what they're up to. Yeah, I'll do that. Thanks. What does this guy have to say? Sorry, I think you can spare a minute. Did you see some shady Yakuza guys? Oh, you mean those guys right over there? Oh, right. Sorry to bother you. I think I'll have a little word with them. Excuse me, fellas. Mind if I have a word? Huh? The hell you want? You wouldn't happen to be the strapping young man who paid Sky Finance a little visit earlier, would you? What the? How do you know about that? Yo, sorry I'm late. Hold up, what are you doing here, Akiyama? Hmm? Hey, didn't I kick your ass the other day? You're that guy from Kamurocho Loans, Kobayashi, was it? Damn right, I still owe you for that. Funny, me and my friend here were just talking about smashing Sky Finance into the ground, but if you're here, we can cut out the middleman and just smash you instead. Yeah, we're gonna teach you a lesson for messing with us. You hear that? This is the Akiyama asshole we were telling you about. Fuck him up real good. Akiyama, yeah, look, it's nothing personal, man. These guys are paying me back. They're paying me to kick your ass. I'm gonna have to kick your ass. Oh, <sighs> here we go again. The combat system just feels completely broken as usual. I'm not taking any hits whatsoever. I'm not even... Yeah, okay, right there. Sure. It's not because, oh, I've played these games and I'm such an expert at the combat already. It's because the combat is not challenging. At least usually. What the hell, Kobayashi? You didn't tell me it was some kind of freak. I'm gonna have nightmares about those... Freakman. This is some real shit, dude. I'm out of here. Why go through all this trouble? I thought you, I told you to stay out of my way. I mean, it can't be good for someone in your line of work to look like a wimp and half the town just saw you get your asses handed to you. Won't, won't be long before word gets out. I can guarantee you no one's going to be afraid of a bunch of tough, uh, toothless loan sharks. Damn it. Tell you what. You guys leave town right now and I'll let you off the hook. He's right, we're not gonna get any more customers here. We can start fresh somewhere else. Yeah, sounds good. I'm sick of this Kamurocha shit anyways. What do you say, Kobayashi-chan? All right, fine. Okay, Akiyama-san, we'll leave. But mark my words, we're coming back to Kamurocha someday. And when we do, we're gonna be big. So big, we'll make you look like just another no-name street punk. Just you wait. You know where to find me. Oh, and here's a tip for you. I saw some Yakuza pricks roll through here a little while ago. What? Yeah, one was pretty banged up too. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, we got it. Looks like Midori Kawa and his boys go to the theater underground by heading past the coin lockers. I'd better hurry. Now I'm investigating the roofs first. Oh my gosh, it's the revelation. Huh? 
諦めなさいうるせえこいつがどうなってもいいのか答えなさい仕掛けた爆弾の線赤を切るの青を切るの早く銃を下ろせこいつがどうなってもいいのか He dropped his knife because she was too sexy, really? Here's the bigger question. Why is a cop or lady detective wearing fishnet stockings? Kidnapping sure are scary. I wonder what color they were. Right in the jewels, that's gotta hurt. This has to be the right one, right? <clears throat> it's the only one that makes any sense as far as like moves go. <laughs> Kick him in the jewels while he's down. Hey, Mac, I just saw an intense scene. A lady detective chased down a man to kidnap a boy. The kidnapper tried to get a cheap peek under the detective's skirt, but the boy took advantage of the situation and rammed him where it counts. You learned the essence of loin wreathing. Can I, can I go talk to them? No, no one has anything to say about this, huh? Well, all right then. All right, are we able to go this way now? Hey pal, you see some Yakuza come through here? Oh, you bet, those Hatsushiba punks. I knew it, listen, I need to get by. Sorry, no can do. Why not? The Hatsushiba boys locked the door down below after they passed through it. Let me tell you, that door ain't nothing if not sturdy. Damn it, what now? Hold your horses, we can't stand those jerks. We'll give you whatever help we can. The tunnels here connect the basement levels of the Millennium Tower. All you gotta do is find the elevator at the back of the tower and you're golden. That'll take you right down where you need to go. Perfect, thanks. That was our home before those Hatsushiba snots booted us out. If you help us return the favor, we can finally get it back. Oh yeah? Well, no guarantees, but I'll see what I can wrangle. Okay. Are you gonna let me through then? This is my way down to the theater underground. Well, time to get going. Manhole, huh? The lid's too heavy for me to lift up and open. I mean, this has to be a fighting arena at some point, right? Hey, who the hell are you? Name's Akiyama from Sky Finance. Always a pleasure. Sky Finance? What's a loan shark like you doing here? Look, I don't mean to offend, but I couldn't care less about punks like you. Midorikawa, where is he? Huh? What do you want with the boss? No one borrows anything from me without a contract. The fuck are you talking about? I don't have time for this. You have something that belongs to me. You're gonna give me my registry back and let Kido-chan go or else. 
Like hell we are. How about we bash your damn skull in instead? Trust me, it'll be a whole lot easier if you just return what you borrowed. But suit yourself. Guess it's just one of those days. I like the uh, multi-kick move that charges your heat up, and then you can uh, chain it into a bigger heavy kick. Whoa. Whoa, okay, Let's hang on. The monitor just went black for a second. That was weird. Oh, um. Okay. You may come across glowing objects that bar your way. You can attack those objects, to destroy them. This place is ours. Yakuza ain't welcome. Relax, pal. I'm no Yakuza. I'm a moneylender. One who has business with Midori Kawa, the guy who's been hanging out down here. Oh, sorry about that. This place used to be our home until the Hatsushiba came along and kicked us onto the curb. There was some kind of ruckus going on, so my buddy and I figured we'd try and take the place back while they were distracted. He ended up chickening out, though. Guess that ruckus is you, then. I was hoping to settle things peacefully, but that doesn't seem to be working out too well. I suggest you get out while you still can. I can take it from here. No way, I'm tagging along whether you like it or not. Don't be ridiculous, it's not safe for you here. I'm not gonna let you push me around like some senile old fool. The name's Kagoro Sukagawa, and I'm gonna punish those Yakuza bastards for everything they've done. Uh, before those thugs showed up, this was practically a homeless paradise. The closest thing most of us ever had to a real home, a real family. This guy's one of the trainers, right? But they had to go and ruin it. Not like some fancy pants rich boy would understand how it feels, Sniffle. All right, you can come with me if you want. Really? Wow, thanks, pal. Just stand back and let old Kogoro show you how it's done. Knock yourself out. Uh, all right. Oh, okay, is that where I just was? All right. Hey there, friends. You wouldn't happen to know where I could find a hot shiba san would you? Give us back our home, you filth. Uh, first the old geese is upstairs, now this. Guess the only way to shut you up is to kill you. room.
Wow, he still has a lot of health after that? Hmm. Okay. Oh, he's running away. Let's go get him. Uh... Okay, I, I'm sorry, where are we going here? Oh, just enter, okay. Oh crap, he locked the door before he ran off. Hmm. Oh, I know, my buddy Kakuda should still be around here somewhere. He used to be a locksmith, the door like this will be a cinch for him. The only problem is he's a real yellow belly, a coward. He's probably hiding somewhere around here waiting for all this to blow over. Guess we better go find him then. Come on. Really? All right. Oh, is this him? So this is where you've been holed up. What gives Kakusan? Sukehe, you scared the shit out of me, almost literally. Hey, no complaining. You were supposed to help me fight these punks, remember? But I'm so scared. I talk a big game, but I practically piss myself when the punches actually start flying. Thankfully, we don't need you to fight. Now, come on. You're coming with us. There's a door we need you to open. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's it? Okay, but make sure you clear everyone out before you call me over. The last thing I need is a dirty pair of underwear to distract me from my lock picking. Okay, let's go. Oh, where'd these guys come from? Yo, homeless friend, help me out. We go through the store now. Should be safe for your pal Kakuda now. Got that right. Those crypts are no match for us. Anyway, I'll go out. I'll go look at Kakusan. Be back in a jiff. Think you can open this one, Kaku? Hmm, let me see. Ah, it's one of these. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. There you have it. Very nice. Thanks. Bottles. Oh, okay. There's another couch guy at the end. Good. All right, let's open this.
Will he not attack? Okay. I was wondering if he wouldn't attack until the other guy is defeated. All right. Uh. Oh, hey, Kakuzu. Open this door. Oh, okay. The hell are you doing down here, Gramps? Stop, what are you doing, my precious machine? Oh, it's the same scientist? What do you care about a broke down piece of junk? Now get the hell out of here, this is our turf. Dr. Minamita, you've come back too. Tsukigawa, perfect timing. The doc used to help us out back when we lived down here. Mind giving us a hand? Sure, one, one more fight. Hey buddy, I'm tagging along. Let's fight, okay. We done? Nope. Okay. Hmm, my machine might come in handy if I can actually fix the darn thing. You're a real lifesaver, by the way. Thank you. Glad I could help. That's the machine you have there. You want to know about my, my machine? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. This is the F-I-F-7-R, a creation of mine that allows you to relive your- Hey, I actually don't have much time right now, it's for you. Shit. I take it Hatsushiba's son somewhere up ahead. Damn right he is. It's not gonna be a cakewalk you're expecting, though. He's gonna wreck your scrawny ass. Sorry, Suki-san, but I'll be going it alone from here. Hey, I get it. You're a big help. Just be careful, you hear? I will, thanks. Okay, Kaku-san, one more door. It's your thing. Thanks, see you guys later. All right, we good? Keto-chan! Akiyama-san. Hey, you're good. Hey, you're good. You're real, dedica real dedication to the job. Mirakawa, I presume. And I take it that's the Hatsushiba clan chairman. I don't know what you want with Keto-chan in my registry, but what do you say you give them back? You heard the man, boss? What's it gonna be? Heh <laughs> Akiyama, was it? I'm afraid you've got the wrong idea. Oh yeah? How you figure? You didn't lend us shit, you gave it to us. So, you see, you can't ask for it back, that'd just be plain rude. Oh, why didn't you just say so? If I gave it to you, that's different. Damn straight, glad we're seeing eye to eye. Absolutely, now I'm gonna ask you to give it back to me. What? Just playing along with your little game. Now give it back before things get ugly. Ha, huh, this guy's a riot. You seriously think you can take us? We won't know unless I try, will we? Oh, I definitely know, but hey, why not? I'll send you back to your bitch secretary in a body bag. Doesn't this guy have a gun? Why can't he just shoot us? Yeah, okay. Gonna like kind of stare off into the distance there, I guess. Wow, what a tough fight. Oh, we have to go after him, I guess. Oh, there's more guys. Coming back with a chainsaw? Well, 
feel the heat. Okay, what are we supposed to do here? Okay, well, this is nonsense. It's an attack that you can't block at all. Alright. Well, that was something. さて、と。会長さん。ま、まで。俺、顧客名は返す。あれ? <laughs> それはもらったものじゃなかったでしたっけ返さなくても結構ですよあんたをぶちのめしてから勝手にもらっていきますからくそこの通りだ勘弁してくれしょうがないねそれじゃあどうしてこんなことをしたのか全部話してもらいましょ
It's a ruby. It's a Trips Yokon. It's a Seal of the Dragon. A dragon seal that once belonged to a Chinese emperor overflows with an awesome presence. I have no idea what that does. You got high grade platinum. You got a lopsided cigarette. You got shaped memory spring. Got Goddess of Children Amulet. Apparently this amulet can stop enemy attacks. You got Gravity Converter. Instructions call this thing a Gravity Counter Converter Prototype. Could this be for real? You got Antique Chainmail. Okay, another set that we don't need. You got Charisma Ring. Apparently, this remix is more charming to every to anyone he meets. Let's put back the Toriner. You got Fizz and Magic Jersey, which we already bought. You got a Toriner Max. You got a Blackjack Amulet. You got a broken radio. You got a shape memory spring again. You got steel mail. You got a spicy knife. You got a pearl. You got a mystery stone. You got a demon stone. You got eye of the dragon. Oh, oh. A crimson stone that draws you into its beauty seems ancient and mysterious. I'm guessing that's a, an ingredient. You got zero jewel. The strange jewel can apparently make a single or double zero come up in roulette. All right. All right. Oh, his machine's incredible. I swear the second I get into it, I can perfectly recreate that amazing scene I pulled off before. But man, is he really that famous? I've never heard of him before. Someone the other day was going on and on about him being some famous developer or whatever. Minamita, the legendary game inventor, has relocated the theater underground and undertaken the development of a new project for the IF-7. A year ago, he said he was invited to work at a small game company, but on the side, he has made it his life's work to develop a new project for the IF-7. Anyway, you should give it a try, too. It's crazy, but in a good way. You know, seriously, go give it a spin. You got 500 XP. Oh. oh, it's you. I didn't have a chance to thank you. Oh, whatever. What's the machine? Oh, it's a virtual reality bullshit. Yep, we know this from Y3. <laughs> One game's 10,000 yen. <laughs> the weapons, to me so far, they only seem worthwhile insofar as you can help cheese fights. Like, they just have a greater damage output and can potentially hit multiple enemies at once. That's really the only time I care to use them. Or like they give you uh, heat actions that wouldn't not otherwise be available. Okay, what about buy weapons? Buy equipment and designs. Sun gun, okay. No, none of that's worth it. 
Okay, what about repairing the shotgun that I have? No. 160,000 to repair that. Yeah, absolutely not worth it. Uh, reloading ammo. Okay, mod weapons. I can make a sonic knife. Uh, I can make this thing. These are just not in any way worth it. View designs. Yeah, just this is just absolutely not worth it in any way. All right. Oh. Eh? I'm tired of carrying around my stuff. I came out here to camera for fighting with my dad, so I was thinking I could s store my stuff here and march out. But even when I asked the guy who owns this block of lockers if I could use it, he just told me not happening because they weren't lying when they said the city's cold as ice. Uh, yeah, we've... We've done... We've been down here already. Okay. Wait. Go down. Oh. Alright, how many have I used up so far? But that's a lot more to get. Ancient steel. Bust amulet. Monogrammed bag. Metal bat. Bloody binding. Lopsided cigarette. Oh, it's all just all the same stuff. Royal Joker card. A tiger skin belt. Magnetized metal. Bloody cloth. Gravity converter. Pocket tissues. This mountain stone again. Red jewel. Blackjack amulet. Stamina and spark. A titanium core ball. Small motor. Super resin. A nine iron. You got gauntlets. All right, that's most of them. All right, we can sell off most of this junk, I'm guessing. What do you have to sell? I have to sell a lot of things, actually. This I don't need, the steel, not that. This monogram bag should make a nice gift. I'm not gifting anything. Bloody binding. All right, so a lot of these are like mini game related things. Some say this belt offers divine protection. I should look at what that does. I don't need this. I don't need this. Don't need this. Didn't I get multiple of these? Hmm. Steel mail. Don't need that. I don't need the antique chain mail that I'm not wearing. Slot armor and bulletproof breastplate. Uh, one of the Fizz and Magic jerseys. I'm never going to... Hmm, I actually... No, that's not true. I might wear that. Goddess of Children amulet. Okay, tattered scarf. Coroner. 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 
High grade platinum. Uh, this. Apparently this thing. Demon stone. I guess let's sell the... Mm. Okay. Don't know what I do with garbage. Ancient steel. Broken radio. Resin. Pearl. Another gravity converter. Mystery stone. Chunk of wood. Seal of the dragon. I'm so, What is this? Eye of the dragon. Oh, they're just... They're just recipe, there's ingredients, but they are just rare ingredients, I guess. And the red jewel and small motor. All right, let's sell all that. I would like to request Rio. Oh, thanks for your mail. You have to root for my magazine column so that I just had to keep it going for a while. All right. You always look the same. Oh, I forgot to put on all my stuff. Gotta remember to do that. What would you like? All right, she likes chocolate. Chocolate. She's doing a magazine thing and she has a dog. Or she, and she was going to go get another dog. Maybe. Come I went on a photo shoot today, you know, for the magazine. Oh yeah? Did you finally decide on a name for your column? <laughs> oh yes I did, I'm going with Rio's All Night Carnival. That's great, I really like that name. Yep, and I wouldn't have come up with that without you. Thank you so much. Heh, <laughs> no problem. Anyway, today we weren't taking pictures for my column, it was for the magazine cover. The cover? Wow. I was wearing a kind of S&M policewoman outfit. It was a little kinky. <laughs> Sounds like fun. But I get the impression that every time I do a shoot, they want me to wear less clothing. Oh, how many times have you done this? Hmm. Seven, eight, nine, I think around ten maybe, just under that. Nothing wrong with showing a little skin. Aren't you embarrassed you should dress up as a sexy bunny girl next? Uh, oh, nothing wrong with showing a little skin. Oh, you like that kind of thing, huh? <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> oh, you perv. But you know, you can really only do that kind of thing while you're young. Yeah, the photographer said the same thing. I don't know about that. Oh, yeah? He said that it was a pleasure to pho photograph someone so beautiful. He just wanted to take as many pictures of me as he could. I guess it's natural to want to please someone who says something sweet like that, right? Yeah, I'm sure you'd be happy to hear something like that. I'll be cheering you on too. Thank you. Akiyama, do you play guitar? Guitar? Where did that come from? Well, I've messed around with one before, but that's about it. Why do you ask? I've always thought it would be cool to be able to play the guitar. I have a friend who plays. She said that once you have the chords down, the rest is easy. So the other day, I decided to go ahead and buy a guitar. It wasn't cheap either. Wow, you don't mess around, do you? Have you tried playing it? I have. I don't have the time to practice as much as I should, but I'm going to do my best to play well. I hear a lot of people quit after a few weeks. Isn't it hard to play with nails like that? Why did you pick the guitar? <laughs> because of someone I used to date, actually. Yeah? Was he in a band or something? Yep, and that made me wish I could play too. Playing an instrument can be fun, for sure. So you want to be able to sing and play? Yeah, just think about it. Everyone's out camping and singing songs around a campfire, and then I pull out my guitar. Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> if you remove the camping part, sure. Ha, huh, so that's your image of a guitar player? Yes, exactly. Well, good luck with the guitar. Let me know when you can play it. I will. I wish I could play some table tennis. Table tennis, huh? 
Yeah, I haven't played it at all recently, so used to play. I have a hard time picturing that. Oh, please don't make us have a date with table tennis. I can't play that game. I'm pretty good, actually. I bet I could beat your pants off. That sounds like a challenge. You think so, huh? All right, then. Let's play. How long have you been playing? Isn't table tennis kind of like... Oh, okay, look, right. Let's play. All right, then. Let's play. Are you sure? Sure about what? I'm not going to take it easy on you. You still want to do it? Yeah, bring it on. Awesome. I can't wait. So what kind of stick should we play for? You must be good if you're that confident. I used to play the boys at my college for their lunches. I ate like a queen back then. Seriously? You sure that was that was sure that was you, not someone else? <laughs> it's just a side of me that slips out sometimes. All right, so what are we playing for? Well, if I win, you have to let me do something to you. Ugh. Huh? What do you want to do to me? Flick you on the forehead. Ma. Oh, haha, <laughs> you scared me there. I'm a little hungry. Would you like to share a fruit platter with me? That's not a bad idea. This might be a good time to leave, but I got enough money. Should I stay a bit longer? Sure, we gotta max those hearts out. Would you like another one? Nah, we're not we're not spending money on beer. Do you want something to eat? Chocolate again. Have you gone anywhere recently? Let's see. Well, I've really been in hot springs recently. Oh, yeah? Where you, where have you gone? Well, Izu Nagaoka and the one that's near Atami. Ido? Ido, yes, that's the one. I've been there. It's nice. Yep, and Nishizu is nice, too. Don't you go anywhere but Izu? Uh, I guess you're right. Those are all in Izu, huh? Uh, yep. Let's see. Where else have I gone? Definitely Izu, Izu, and Zushi? Wait, nope. I haven't been to Zushi. Maybe you should try a different area. <laughs> I guess you're right, but I can't help it. Maybe I should go with you next time. Hot springs are nice, aren't they? I bet you look good in a yukata. Uh... <laughs> so you, you think so? Yeah. I'd like to see what you look like in one. Oh, Akiyama-san, you're just saying that. No, I mean it. Uh, thanks, I didn't think it would be that big of a deal. Do you like girls in yukatas? Yeah, but to be completely accurate, I enjoy taking the yukatas off of girls. Uh, okay, okay, Akiyama. <laughs> Do you imagine that every time you see a girl in a yukata? Pretty much. A little daydreaming never hurt anybody. Oh, you do have fun, don't you? That's the kind of line you can only get away with if you're attractive. Okay. Akiyama, what's up? Notice anything about me today? Yeah. Not really. What? Look closer. Oh, we're doing this again? Press A to focus on one of her features. Uh, well, uh, the, the watch? That's right, I've been eating a kind of gelatin dessert with collagen in it. Oh, that was the correct answer? Wow, really? Is collagen and heliol acid in it. They say it works better if you eat it rather than apply it to your skin. I guess you really are what you eat, huh? Hehe, <laughs> yep. So, yeah, Have you met Yoko Yamakun? He's one of the attendants here. The guy by the entrance. Um, oh, I guess he's not here today. What about him? Well, Yoko Yamakun has a habit of shaking his legs and it's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, that bothers the people watching more than the person who's doing it. It doesn't just bother me. I can't stand it. It's not just when he's sitting down either. Sometimes he'll be standing and boom, he's, his leg starts jiggling. Huh? For real? Oh yeah, and it's not just one, but both legs. I mean, come on. Both legs bouncing sounds annoying. I sometimes do that myself. Do you know why people do that? Hmm, something to do with nerves, maybe? I heard it was related to the amount of muscle you have. Muscle? Yeah, it seems that people who have a lot of muscle are more likely to have lactic acid build up in their bodies. When they stay in the same position for too long, the lactic acid builds up, and they feel like they have to move in order to dissolve it. That's why some people bounce their legs. Really? It's so amazing that you know that. That's just what I've heard. But that does sound about right. I'm not positive, but it sounds plausible. It does. Should I recommend that Yoko Yokoyama kun do some stretches then? Uh, no, just leave him be. What makes you say that? There aren't that many people who can bounce both legs like that, you know? <laughs> oh, you're so mean. Have you heard any interesting gossip recently? You must hear a lot of interesting stories, Akiyama. 
Something interesting. Let me think. 777 Town, Omoa Batar, the pole dancing workout. What was 777 Town? Amoa Batar. Ever heard of Amoa Batar? No, what is it? It's an online community that lets you create an avatar of yourself. The number of members has skyrocketed lately. I've never heard of it before. I guess I could give it a try. You can always play games in chat. I'm not much of an expert on those things, so why don't we try it together sometime? Okay, let's try it together. Are you married, Akiyama? Me? Nope, I'm single. Oh, really? Why? Do I look married? No way, not at all. That's what I thought. What about you? Oh. Well, I'm just getting over a breakup. What do you do to get over something like that? <clears throat> I'm trying to become prettier than I was when I was going out with my ex. Prettier? Yep, I've been working on my hair and making my skin nice and firm. Hmm, I see. So you're trying to feel better by aiming for those goals. Got it. Yep, that's right. How much would you say you've recovered? I sort of understand what you mean. That's a positive way to look at things. Uh... Not really. It's pretty negative. Not at all. A pessimist wouldn't put in the hard work like you're doing. Hmm, really? Sure, you may not feel totally positive, but at least you're trying to improve yourself, right? That's a positive way to look at things. Hmm, never thought of it like that before. I guess it's not negative. Exactly. I feel a little better. Thank you. <laughs> Keep at it. I'm sure you'll get even more beautiful. Okay. I should get going. Oh, you're leaving already? How much is this going to cost? Oh my god, 30,000. Yamasan. Please come again. Oh, pinky shake on it. All right, then. Well, see you next time. I think I'll get started right away But to play the guitar. What's the best way to learn? I never seem to be able to play the strings I'm holding down. I want to be good at this already. I should reply to her email. Hmm, what should I write? You should try and play more slowly. You should practice your picking technique. Look at your hands as you play. Mm. I guess slowly. Like, again, she, there's nothing bad about her. But it's just such a, like, bland conversations. I actually miss the train wrecks that were the Yakuza 3 hostesses. Hello, it's Rio from Shine. Oh, hi, how are you doing? I was just thinking about you. W was wondering if you'd like to go out on a date. Sure. Great, I'll meet you in front of the Millennium Tower. In front of the Millennium Tower? Got it. Yep, okay, see you later. You're early, Akiyama. I'm a bit early myself. Anywhere in particular you wanted to go today? Don't say table tennis. Don't say table tennis. Okay, I want to go to the pet store. Pet store? Oh, you want to check on the dog you were talking about, huh? The one that looks like an old man. Right. Hope he's still there. Let's go and see. Is it the store? Yes, what'll I do if he's still here? Buy him? Like you were planning to? Oh, look at him. You really bought him, huh? Hey, you told me to do it. You agonized about it for over an hour. If I hadn't said something, we'd still be in here. Yeah, you're right. Well, I hope he gets along with your other dog. I'm sure he will. But first, I have to take him to I have to take him to the groomer. They'll make him nice and cute. Well, he's pretty cute already. Groomer? Like a beauty salon for dogs? That's right. I'm gonna get him a full doggy makeover. Sounds like that might take a while. You wanna go somewhere else in the meantime? Good idea. Where would you like to go? Go hang out, go shopping, go out to eat. Uh, we need to go out to... Uh, is hangout... Um, okay, so I was going to say go out to eat because then we can do restaurants that we haven't done yet. But hangout, does hangout mean karaoke? Can we do karaoke? I mean, we could probably do that anytime though, right? Like, if we just... If we maxed her out, we could just go to karaoke and invite her there. Probably, right? Go out to eat. We could go out to eat. 
How about Yakiniku? How does sushi sound? Wanna hit up with Tommy? Yakiniku! How about Kanrai for some Yakiniku? Yakiniku, now that I think about it, I am hung kinda hungry. Okay, let's go. So wait, are we dropping your dog off at a groomer and then we're going to eat? Hmm, the Yakiniku here is yummy. I can't wait to stuff myself. Yeah, let's go in. Let me show you the receipts. Right this way. Welcome, what would you like to order? Maybe I should order for the both of us. Can I order everything? Yeah, we can order everything. Max the menu out. Max the menu. Limited thick chuck high steak, salted tongue. Grade A salted tongue. Rib meat. Grade A rib meat. Sirloin. Grade A sirloin. Harami. Grade A harami. Liver sashimi. Horumanyaki. Seafood platter. Kimchi combo. Stone roasted bibimbap. Spicy beef soup. Here's your bill, sir. Dot, 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 dot. What's wrong? Nothing. It was just something I didn't like. Oh, I see. Anyway, I should be getting home. See you at the club. Oh, she doesn't like something, I guess. I shouldn't have ordered something she doesn't like. Well, all right then. Let's enter the club. I would like to request Rio. <laughs> yep, there's more hearts. Thanks for the other day. I had a really fun time. Thanks for last time. I had a lot of fun. Akiyama-san, you're looking really handsome today. Cause I, that's because I have a charisma ring and a popularity bracelet on. Should I give her a present? No. Akiyama-san. Akiyama, how long have you been at your job? Hmm, well, I think it's approaching around five years now. That's a pretty long while. What about you? Not that long. I'm the type of person who has trouble sticking with things over time. Maybe I just get bored too easily. I'm a jack of all trades and master of none. I'm the same way. That's not good. Don't worry about it. You're still young. I'm the same way. Really? You're a jack of all trades too, Akiyama? No, I just get bored easily. That doesn't sound very healthy. Look, most people aren't doing what they really want with their lives. I guess that's true. Yeah, yeah, and about being a jack of all trades. Talented people like you catch on a lot quicker than the average person, so they want to try lots of different things. Wait, Akiyama, you said, oh, I'm not a, ma a jack of all trades. Weren't you? You're a, you were a banker. You're also a money lender and a good, and an incredible fighter, apparently. And you've got Yakuza ties. You're also a charismatic, persuasive person. You also run or slash manage slash own a, a hostess club. I would, call, I would call you a jack of all trades. It may look like you get bored easily, but you're just trying to experience as much as you can. Oh, that sounds about right. Maybe I've been trying too many things. Keep it up. Sooner or later, you'll find something you want to stick with. <laughs> I hope so. So I did an interview today for your magazine column. Yep, it was my first very first interview. Oh yeah, was it fun? Oh yeah, totally. But to be honest, I think I messed up a lot. Did somebody say something to you? No, everybody was very complimentary. They said it went well. So what's the problem? They were just a little too nice, you know. They were always like that. They're always like that to me. I can never tell what they're really thinking. I get what you're saying. Since this is your first time, you'd rather have them point out your flaws so you can improve. Yeah, exactly. I see. The problem is how you carry yourself. I can think of worse problems. That's too bad. Um. Apparently. The problem is how you carry yourself. What do you mean? Everyone carries themselves in a certain way. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. I don't think I'm really getting it. 
For example, someone might carry himself in a way that makes him seem dangerous and reckless. He could be the nicest guy in the world, but all people are going to see is this dangerous man. I guess so. On the other hand, say someone carries himself in a mellow way that just makes him seem very non-threatening. No one's going to be on their guard when someone like that shows up. Oh, I think I see where you're going with this. That might be the problem in your case. No one's on their guard and asking a, and asking a lot of you because you seem very non-threatening. Now I get it. So I probably shouldn't worry too much about it, huh? Hmm, well, what I'm trying to say is that people aren't going to point out your faults because they don't expect much based on the way you carry yourself. You have to figure them out by yourself. Wait, what? That doesn't sound so bad. Do you remember the photographer I told you about before? The guy who complimented you so much. Yeah, him. What about him? Well... Hmm? Never mind. Hey, hey, you can't expect me to just forget it after all that. Come on, spill your guts. Give me the gory details. Okay, well, you know pinup models, right? Models who do sexy photo shoots, right? Yeah, but sometimes it could be a little more intimate than that. What, like swimsuits? No, I mean, really intimate. Models pose completely nude sometimes. Really? Wow, I didn't think they went that far. Yeah, they do. And, well, the photographer asked if I wanted to try it. Sounds like it could be fun. That doesn't seem like a good idea. What? 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 You scared me. <laughs> I guess I could see how that would surprise you. It's pretty funny to see you get so surprised, though. Hey, come on, don't make fun of me for the way I react. Right, sorry, I know it was a weird thing to ask. It's not strange. It's just, well, what do you think about it? Sorry? Do you want to try it? Well, I think the girls who do it are amazing. It takes serious guts to strip and be completely naked in front of a camera. Sounds like you want to give it a shot. Maybe. I guess I am kind of interested in the idea. Now I see how it is. Well, take your time and then think it over. There's nothing wrong with it. The world needs girls like that after all. The world needs girls like that after all. Okay, sure. I have a really hard time deciding what to buy when I go shopping. <laughs> I guess a lot of women are like that, huh? A while ago, I found the cutest little shop and I just couldn't decide what to get. I was there for like a whole hour. An hour? What were you trying to decide on? Hehe. <laughs> yes. Uh... The watch. She's not wearing one now, but a watch, the bracelet, right? Okay, the necklace? I can't look at the necklace? The earrings. Hmm, could be almost anything. I think she looked good in a hat. I have no freaking idea. Let's do the hat one, sure. I bet it was a hat. You look like you probably have a lot of them. No, if I see a hat I like, I usually just buy it without giving it much thought. Wouldn't having a big poofy bun on top of your head imply that you don't wear a hat most of the time? The correct answer was a bra. I adore cute underwear. Wow, was that cute, huh? Can I take a look? Aha, uh -huh, nah, -uh. nice try though. Aw, you shouldn't make such a big deal about something if you're not going to let me see it for myself. This might be a good time to leave, but I've got enough money. Should I stay a bit longer? Oh, yeah, we don't have the heart maxed out, so we have to stay longer. And more chocolate, right? Alright, our heart's maxed. Now it's just a matter of not losing that heart. We put that heart on the screen. We just gotta not lose our heart on the screen. What kind of men do you like, Ryo-chan? Haha, <laughs> where's this coming from all of a sudden? Just curious. Well, let me think. I'm not sure I can explain this very well, but I like men who notice things that I don't. What do you mean? Like a habit that I do subconsciously, that kind of thing. I get it now. But that seems to be a rare trait. Do you notice things about other people? Wouldn't that be kind of annoying? I could never do that. I'm not very observant. Hmm? Do you notice things about other people? Hmm, I've never really thought about it. Probably not. Ha, huh, maybe you're just not very observant. Haha, <laughs> maybe you're right. Either way, I like the idea of someone caring about me enough to really pay attention to what I do. I suppose it does, yeah. Nee, nee. I'm a little hungry. Would you like to share a fruit platter with me? Nope. 
so desu ka? Oh, okay, but I really wanted that. So yes. Have you ever gotten really drunk and done something stupid? Something stupid, huh? Yeah. Well, sure, doesn't everyone? Sure, but I'm asking what you have done, not everyone else. Well, once I came out of the bathroom and didn't realize that my panties were up around my waist. Huh, how'd that happen? I'd taken them completely off, and when I put them back on, I somehow put both legs through one leg hole and pulled them up. Huh? What? How'd you fit? I was thinner back then, about eight kilos lighter than I am now. Eight kilos less than now? You must have been just sticking bo skin and bones. I'm short, so I thought it was the right weight for me. I got told to gain some weight later, though. Dresses don't look good if you're too thin. Now I understand how you could fit both of your legs in one hole, but that's still pretty crazy. <laughs> no, it gets even better. I can't imagine how. I was wearing overalls at the time. That means I had taken my overalls and panties completely off, used the toilet, and then put them back on in the wrong order. What? Oh. You don't remember doing it? Not at all. You tend to black out when you drink. I don't believe you. I bet you were embarrassed when you noticed. Sure. When I noticed, I was like, how on earth did this happen? I see. So you were more worried about the how than the why, huh? Yep. But the more I thought about what happened, the more embarrassed I got. Hey, hey, hey. I can imagine. New girl joined the club recently. She seemed kind of sad the first time we talked, so I got a bit worried about her. But the other day when we were talking, she suddenly started laughing like a maniac. Uh, why? <laughs> she said I made a funny face and couldn't help but laugh. She's so cute when she laughs. She's a really nice girl. I can't imagine you making weird faces. I can tell you care about the other girls. Show me the face you made. <laughs> no, that's too embarrassing. Stop teasing. Oh, come on. We got negative points for that. I just meant that you should feel relaxed enough with me that you feel comfortable doing that kind of thing. Relaxed? You've got a great smile, but it would be nice if you felt comfortable enough to pull funny faces in front of me once in a while. Oh, that's sweet. But you know, saying things like that just makes me smile more. I guess it's about that time. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, how much does this cost me? Ugh. At this rate, it's going to be like 100,000 yen per hostess. At least. Just got back from taking my dog to the dog park. That's where you can take off your pet's leash and let them run around. There were lots of other cute doggies here, too. They cheered me right up. I should reply to her email. What should I write? I've never heard of a place like that. I'd like to go there, too. What kind of dogs were there? All right. So I 15 her heart. Yeah, there we go. Hello, it's me, Rio. Oh, hi, Rio. What's up? Are you coming to the club today? I was thinking maybe we could meet up beforehand and head over together. How could I say no? Great. I'll wait for you in front of the Millennium Tower. Now, don't you stand me up. Don't you do it. You're early. I'm a bit early myself. Rio-chan. Oh, it's my photographer. Oh, wow. I knew you were beautiful in a dress, but you look amazing in that outfit, too. You're such a flatterer, but it's true. And by the way, have you thought about what we discussed? Oh, uh, yes, the pinup model job, right? You said you knew someone at an agency. That's right. You'd be just perfect for that kind of work. Um, could I get a little more time to think about it? Well, the agency can't wait forever. You need to make up your mind as soon as possible. That was the guy you were telling me about. Yeah, it looks like you're taking this offer seriously. I am, but I haven't made up my mind yet. Well, you, should hit rush, you shouldn't rush your decision. Take your time and think it over. I already am. So where are you taking me today? Let's go. Let's spend even more money at restaurants. How about sushi? Sushi, now that I think I'm kind of hungry. Okay, let's go max all the sushis out. Welcome, take the seats. Alright, we already ordered that one, so let's order everything. Oh, okay, good. This doesn't cost anywhere near as much as Conroy.
Order. Tamago, Kappa Maki, Tuna, Amabi, Angawa, Subugai, Namatako, Kampachi, Kamburi, Harame, Shima Aji, Kinmedai, Ikura, Akage, Otoro, Awabi, Uni. Here's your bill. Oh, she ate something she didn't like because we ordered everything on the menu. You know, you didn't have to eat everything. How about a few drinks at the club? Yeah, okay. We can max out the hearts. Hopefully this will be the last session of hearts. Alright, chocolate. I'm going to put all those hard ons the screen. You're still wondering what to do about that job, aren't you? Pinup model job? Yeah. I think it's amazing that some girls can get naked in front of strangers, but I'm not sure if I can. Yeah, it's not easy. I worry about what other people might think, too. You know what I think? What? The fact you're spending so much time debating this means that part of you wants to do it. No, doesn't that mean that part of you doesn't want? It? Well, okay, yeah, sure. I guess you could frame it either way. What about what about it interests you? Mm, I don't quite know how to explain it. I think I'd feel like I really achieved something if I could go through with it. So you'd feel accomplished? Yes, that's it. I don't feel the same sense of accomplishment in my work here that I used to. And there's something freeing about being able to stand naked and pose in front of everybody. I get it now. Oh. You do? You want to try something new? Hmm. That's not a bad thing. Then you should make the decision on your own. You could try something else. That's not a bad thing, really. Of course, it's important to challenge yourself. You can't gain anything without taking action yourself. You're right. You don't have to decide right away, right? Right. Then take your time and think about it. It's not the kind of decision you should just make spur of the moment. Oh, you're right. I thought that being unsure was my problem, that I was being indecisive. But that's only natural, isn't it? Of course, you're allowed to be unsure. It's strange. Nothing. Thanks for listening to my problems, Akiyama. Anytime. Nene. Have you heard any interesting gossip recently? You must hear a lot of interesting stories. Something interesting, let me think. Can I just tell her about Omobitar again? I guess let's try. <sighs> We're really gonna bring this up? Okay, let's bring this up. Did you know pole dancing is great for working out? Now that you mention it, pole dancing girls are pretty slender, aren't they? I don't think you need to go on a diet, but pole dancing might suit you, Ryo-chan. You think so? Then I might give it a shot. <sighs> I'm a little hungry. Would you like to share fruit platter? Oh, sure. Of course. I need that half a heart increase. Or that quarter heart increase. <laughs> You're in a good mood today. Hey, you noticed, huh? You find a briefcase full of money or something? Not quite. Okay, are you ready? My friend saw my column and contacted me. Your magazine column? Yep. This friend was totally against me working in Hostess Club. We fought about it, then we didn't talk for about a year. She said she saw me in the magazine and apologized for how she treated me. That's great to hear. I wonder which photos she saw. Sounds like being in the magazine was worth it. That's great to hear. Gosh, it's just like a TV show. I guess things like this really do happen. It feels good to get a little recognition, doesn't it? Yep. So you've been thinking about your friend all this time. Yeah, I didn't like how things ended between us. I was so depressed when she told me she didn't want to see me anymore. I see, I see. Well, I'm happy for you. Today might be the happiest day of my life. <laughs> I'm happy you're happy. Really? You always know the best thing to say, don't you, Akiyama? Heh. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's true. <sighs> um, Akiyama-san, hmm? I really don't know what to do. You still mulling over that pinup model? Yeah, they want an answer soon. I wouldn't mind trying it, but... I'm against it personally. It doesn't really matter what I say, does it? If you're not sure, why don't you just... It doesn't really... It doesn't really matter what I say, does it? It doesn't really matter what I say, does it? You should do whatever you want to do. What? So that's your thought on it? I'm hurt. Then let me ask you this. If I told you I didn't want you to do it, would you give up the idea? Well, I'm not sure. Then you should just decide on your own. Okay. Aw, oh, really? That was m multiple negative points. Hey, whatever happened with that dog that looks like an old man? Is he getting along with your other one? Yep. They're both doing fine. I just taught him how to sit. He's a fast learner. Oh, I guess you can teach an old looking dog new tricks. Glad to hear it. <laughs> he's cute, but well, he poops while he walks. He actually moves around. 
Yeah, he gets pulled all over my apartment. The first thing I do when I get home is clean up after him. They say dogs take after their masters. You sound like you're enjoying taking care of him, at least. It sounds like he could use better training. Mm. You think so, right? I thought I must be doing something wrong, so I went back and talked to the people at the pet store. What do they say? That he's always been like that. That's it? Yeah, if that was the case, they should have mentioned it a little earlier. Yeah, seriously. Well, not much I can do about it now. You just have to housebreak him. He's smart, so it shouldn't be hard, but... This might be a good time to leave, but I haven't hearted on her yet. We got a heart all over her. I'm so miserable. Okay. It's wrong. I'm in love, but I know I can't keep indulging. Uh, what are you talking about? Mm, oh, I'm in love with raw shrimp, but I can't eat it anymore. Oh, why not? I had some at a sushi restaurant the other day, and I broke out in hives. Wait, I hadn't had it for a while, so I thought maybe it'd be okay, but... Well, not our sushi restaurant, right? Because we, because shrimp wasn't even on the menu, was it? For the last year, I've broken out every time I've had raw shrimp. Ooh. Even if it's grilled enough. I love it, but seems it doesn't love me. What's the big deal? It's just raw shrimp. I thought you were talking about a man. Are there other foods you can't eat? Wow, this is... I guess this helps us with info regarding restaurants. Hmm. Hmm? Are there other foods you can't eat? None. I'm not a picky eater either, but you can't eat raw shrimp. Odd. That's what makes it so sad. Yeah, that's too bad. Well, I suppose we shouldn't get sushi if we go out on a date, huh? I can eat other kinds of fish, so I wouldn't mind. I love sushi. All right, then. Haha. <laughs> well, thanks for worrying about me. I hung out with an old classmate from high school yesterday. Oh, yeah? A guy or a girl? A girl. I went to an all-girls school. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was tons of fun. I guess an all-girls school would be pretty cool. Of course. When it's just girls, we let it all hang out. Uh, excuse me, what now? If there were boys around, we probably would have tried being all cute and nice. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> I think I get what you mean. That's pretty honest of you. Hehe, <laughs> we wouldn't eat our lunches early every day or run to the school store for fried chicken either. I bet I'd like it there if I were a girl. I wouldn't mind being a teacher there. Wait, fried chicken at the school store? Just what the... What kind of school store has fried chicken? Don't most schools usually have that? No, the most they usually have is bread and milk. Well, we had that too, but I'm glad we were lucky enough to have fried chicken then. Was it good? <laughs> totally. That's why you had to run to go buy it. They'd be sold out if you weren't fast enough. High school girls racing each other for fried chicken. Sounds like a game show. I would watch that. Um, nuh uh, if there were boys around, we never would have done it. I've been thinking about what? I think I'm finally over my ex. I can think about it now without my heart aching. So you can look at it through a more objective lens. Right, and I noticed something. When I find out that the person I'm with is better than me at something, I find it easier to just let them be. It helps me maintain a good relationship with them, I guess. You mean it keeps you humble? Yes, yeah, so when there's nothing like that anymore, I start getting critical, I start nitpicking, you know? It gets worse the more I get to know them. You start criticizing them more and more. Yeah, I don't mean to, it just happens. I'd love to be a little less perceptive, honestly. Really? Yeah, I feel more comfortable that way, personally. I see. So did you just notice that recently? Yeah, pretty much. That relationship's over. Forget about it. So basically, you don't like stupid men. Maybe you need a masochistic boyfriend. These all seem like terrible options. I mean, if this one's flirty enough, maybe... Maybe you need a masochistic okay. boyfriend. A masochist? Haha, ha, what makes you say that? You should find a man who actually likes being criticized. I'm sure you'll get along that way. But I already told you, I don't want to criticize them. Huh? Did you say that? Ugh. Did you even listen to what I said? Sorry, sorry. I guess it's about that time. Oh, fuck me. We didn't finish the harding. Great, now we got a heart all over her again. Uh, uh, um, okay. I'm really hooked on doing photo shoots. I wonder if modeling suits would be better than being a hostess. What do you think? I should reply to her email. What should I write? 
I'd like to see your photos too. I'm glad you're having fun. That might be better than being a hostess. I'm glad you're having fun. All right, let's fucking do it again. All right, let's request Rio. So do you like soft serve ice cream? Ice cream? Where'd that come from? Just tell me, do you like it? Do you eat it a lot? I guess so, as much as the next guy. Yeah, I once ate like a whole bunch of gelato to heal myself. What about it? I saw an old man eating an ice cream cone on the street today. It was so cute. Uh, huh. He was eating it kind of weird, like he'd never had one before. He was concentrating so hard on it, but he was really enjoying it. So I was just imagining how you'd eat one, Akiyama-san. I take big bites. I take my time and lick it slowly. I always throw away the cone. Well, we all know that this is the correct response. Mm. Take my time and lick it. Yeah. Well, when you say it like that, it's kind of pervy, Akiyama. Even so, there's no other way to eat it, right? You're right about that, and I like to take small licks, too. See? Even you do that. I like watching people try to stop melting ice cream from dripping down the cone onto their hand. It's kind of exciting. Whew. Whew, the innuendo. <laughs> Especially the person doing the eating. <laughs> I feel like I've gotten kind of annoyed, annoying lately. It may be because of my ex-boyfriend. It's like my personality's changed. What? what do you mean? I'll be like, if that's the way you think, then I'm done talking now. Huh. What are you talking about? Heh. <laughs> you want to explain or what? Like, I'm nitpicking everything my friends say, being petty and trying to find faults with them. Maybe I've just become a mean person. Ah, oh, I see. That I can understand. You should try to be more aware of your behavior. Your personality can't change that quickly. You shouldn't worry too much about it. Uh... Personality can't change that quickly. It sure seems like it's changed. How long were you going out with him? Less than a year. I don't think your personality could change in that short of time. Maybe what you call nitpicking is a sign that you're looking at things a little more deeply than before. Huh? It sounds like you're seeing the deeper meaning behind what people say instead of just taking everything at face value. You can tell what the other person is really thinking. So, it's a good thing? If you're able to tease them, then it means... Then it means is that you've got a good... If you're able to tease them, then it means is that you've got a good understanding of your friends and know how not to upset them. I see, you're so mature, Akiyama-san. I'm glad I asked you about it. Heh, <laughs> you're very welcome. Ne ne. Heh <laughs> so I'm planning something right now. Would you like to know what it is? Sounds like you want to tell me. I do. Heh <laughs> heh, all right then. Let's hear it. Are you ready? It's about your dogs again, isn't it? Yeah, good guess. Ah, so what's up? Well, I'm thinking about taking my dogs to the beach. Oh. The beach, huh? I've always dreamed about running with my dogs on a white sandy beach. Is that all? You're only taking your dogs. That seems really innocent. I like it. <laughs> it's like something out of a fairy tale. Oh. Really? Yeah. Yay. My friends keep saying that everybody does that kind of thing, so it's not a big deal, but I knew you'd understand. Just because everybody else does it doesn't make it bad. I mean, when people go sightseeing, they usually go to the same places as everybody else. That's because those places are worth seeing, though. That's a nice way to look at it. There's usually a good reason everybody does something, right? Yeah, exactly. You got it. You want to go with me then, Akiyama-san? <laughs> I'll think about it. This might be a good time to leave, but I've got enough money. Should I stay a bit longer? Nope. Can't risk losing the hearts. You're leaving? Ooh. Come again soon. Here's my super premium card. You got Rio's fancy business card. How is the fancy business card any different than a normal business card? Like, what makes it fancy? Is it all glittery and sparkly? I love you. Thanks. What was that exchange just now? I love you to your host client and the response he gave was thank you i don't know i have so much on my mind i'd love to call you up and talk to you about it but i didn't want to bug you with a long phone call so i'm emailing instead i wish i could just hear your voice i should reply to her email what should i write i like to hear your voice too you can ask me for advice anytime should i leave a message on your machine 
can ask me for advice anytime. All right, I'm gonna guess the Millennium Tower is where we're gonna meet her. So let's get the phone call. No? Yeah, there we go. Akiyama san, this is Ryo. I need to talk to you. That photographer called. The president of the agency wants to beat me. That's kind of sudden. What was the agency called again? Chino Productions. Have you heard of it? Never heard of it. I'm going to their office to see what the president has to say before making my decision. Okay, it's another stupid scam. He's just trying to get her naked. And we're going to go there. We'll beat him up. Okay. Chino Productions, huh? The manager over at Asia knows a lot about this kind of thing. I should ask him about it. Wait, over at Asia. You mean... This guy? Hi, can I ask you something? Oh, hi, can I help you? Have you ever heard of Shino Productions? Shino Productions? Yes, and nothing good. What do you mean? They have a number of girls working as pinup models, but I've heard the president has his has had his way with all of them. Well, I guess that's not so unusual. That's not all. I heard that the president makes his girls entertain his clients in exchange for cash, if you know what I mean. Of course, he keeps the money. I see. Thanks, that was helpful. By the way, do you know where the Shino Productions is located? I think they're in the alley of Nakamichi Street. Pretty sure they're near... They're in a building near Smile Burger. Why does everything have to be like a cynical scam where someone's trying to be, get fucked over by money grubbers? Hey, do you know where Shino Productions is? Hmm? Oh, it's right in this building. Oh, thanks. I should pay them a little visit. No, that's not what I was told. I was just supposed to listen to what you had to say today. <laughs> Don't waste time talking. Go ahead and take your clothes off. It's no big deal. But who are these other people? It's all right. Just show us a little of that confidence you have and start taking off those clothes. And you're just going to do it in like an office? Okay. Just a minute. Who the hell are you? I did a background check on the so-called talent agency of yours. It's actually a call girl service, isn't it? What? Is that true? You can't prove that. I suppose you use the pictures you take to blackmail the girls into doing what you want. It sounds like you've thought it all through. Shit. But, sorry fellas, but I won't allow you to have your way with Ryo-chan. Shit, we'll just have to force her to let us take the pictures. Get rid of this asshole. Meanwhile, Rio has completely disappeared. Oh no, she's over there. Okay. The world is such a scary place. Not always. You just had some bad luck. You really think so? Listen, I know somebody who runs an agency that might be able to help you out. Really? They don't usually deal with pinup models, but maybe you could be the first. But you still want this, right? If you're brave enough to take off your clothes in front of people, why don't you just try it? Okay, I just can't give up on it. I need to see how far I can go. Seems you're back to your old self, but there's just one thing. What? Well, I think you should be the first. Huh? The first pinup model, me? No, no, the first one to see me naked. Oh. Oh! It's embarrassing saying that out loud. You don't mind though, right? See, I think this would hold more weight if this was, if this was like the only hostess you talked to and they actually had a genuine connection instead of what's going on, which is that the moment that I'm finished with this mission, it's just going to be on to the next hostess. Thank you so much, Akiyama. Do you feel more confident now? By the way, Akiyama, did, didn't you kiss Lily in the cutscene a little bit ago? But now you're out, you're gallivanting around being the playboy at all these hostess clubs? For sure, you've seen everything. I've got nothing left to be embarrassed about now. You don't have to say it out loud. So loud. Hey, I love you, you know. You gain 10,000 experience points. Okay, then. 
Wait, why are we outside the batting center? Oh, because there's hotels across the street? Okay. Thanks so much for the day. I'm going to call the place you told me about. Wonder if I could really make it as a pinup model. Wish me luck. You're the best. And then here's a picture. Hello, sir. Welcome to Jewel. Please come inside. Enter. Hmm. I don't have a preference, I guess. All right. Let's go do the speed dating thing again. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, it's Chihiro. What does she like? Oh, she doesn't like alcohol. Wait, isn't she drinking alcohol right now? I'm Chihiro, nice to meet you. Hi there, the name's Shun Akiyama. Are you a college student by any chance? Yes, I am, how'd you know? Heh, <laughs> in my line of work, you have to be able to notice things like that. Wow, that's pretty impressive. You know, working as a hostess will teach you to do the same. It will, I'm not so sure. Hello, oh, let's bring in everybody out. You don't drink, do you? Nope, I've had alcohol at college parties, but I just can't handle it. What is that hairdo on Arena? She likes liver, sashimi, and perfume. Your customers must like that. It's cheaper. Huh, true enough. Wait, so you've never gotten drunk? That's right. I can't drink enough to get drunk. I think it's something you should experience at least once, if only to see what kind of impact it has on you. Uh, I disagree. Yeah. What? No, I couldn't. What if I started acting like a complete idiot? Haha, <laughs> that's kind of the point. Sorry. Sorry, it sounds like another customer requested me. Please enjoy the rest of your time here. Nice to meet you. I'm Arena. Arena. Hi, hi, I'm Akiyama. Are you from the Kansai region by any chance? That's right. People here notice that right away. Is my accent really that different? Yeah, it is. Seriously? Well then, can you tell which part of Kansai I'm from? I don't know. Did they say it? He, he, uh, Kyoto. Oh, no, I didn't mean to choose that. No, I'm from Kyoto. Oh, damn it. I would have been correct. Now that I think about it, I can tell. Really? You're not just saying that. Really, there's something, something about you. Dignified, but also relaxed. It practically screams Kyoto. Oh, thank you. You got kind of a restrained personality, don't you? Not like the men in Kanzai. Really? What do you mean? Kanza men are real laid back. They'll meet someone for the first time and act like their best friends. But people around here always seem to act so formal. Even around people who are their own age. It makes me a little nervous. I see. I hadn't thought of it that way. I've always thought of myself as laid back. You're not the shy type, are you? You'll get used to it eventually. Actually, I think I'm closer to the Kansai type. I've always thought of myself as laid back. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I'm a little nervous around you, but that's because you got this aura about you. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to try and tone it down some more then. I'm pretty good at that. Ha <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to go that far. You're pretty funny. And then the third hostess shows up. It's Bye. Noah. I'm Noah. It's really is it really Noah and not now? Kanpai. Cheers. Noah this. Oh Noah, nice Akiyama. to meet you. Hi, I'm Akiyama. What is Noah like? She likes fried foods but doesn't like bitter veggies. Oh, you seem like you know where you're around a hostess club. I suppose. But I don't combine myself very often. I get a little too relaxed. So nanda. Oh, that's my favorite type of customer. I can just take it easy and be myself. Sometimes CEOs will drag some of their new employees here. The poor boys get so nervous, it terrifies me. Yeah, I remember those days. That's so understandable. Well, I'm always pretty calm. Yeah? Uh -huh. 
Ah, you're the first one I've ever met who's as comfortable here as he is at home. You look like you could curl up on the sofa and take a nap. Mm. You know, guys often go out of their way to impress girls. I don't think they buy it one bit. You gotta be yourself. That way there aren't any surprises. It's true, that's a really good observation. <laughs> so, what kind of girls do you like? That's a good question. Oh, come on, you don't really want to know that, do you? Here, let's drink. So that must mean I'm not your type. Hey, why are you looking so down? My last customer said he wanted a girl who was more ladylike. I don't think he's going to be requesting me next time. Hey, don't worry about it. Hey, I like you. Maybe you could try changing your image. Hey, I like you. Huh? You're nice and easy to talk to. Really, thanks. I bet you're popular. Hmm, well, sort of. I have some regulars, but not that many. And you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. If you're concerned, you can try requesting me. <laughs> next time I will. <laughs> Cross your heart. Is our time up already? Looks like it. Oh, Verena, nice to meet you. Really? I only got Arena's card and not anyone else? You got a business card. Uh, definitely not. Yeah, she was she was the weakest out of the three of them. Oh, no, nice to meet you. I actually wanted to request uh, Chihiro the most. All right, I guess we're gonna request uh, Noah. <laughs> Noah, it was nice meeting you. Oh, I started to forget about work and really enjoy myself. Just come uh, request me and then Arena. Thanks for visiting. I hope you come by and request me. Okay. How much money do I have? Whew. It was like 200,000 just to talk to Rio. Jeez. All right. Would you like to request a specific girl? I guess Noah. Noah, excellent. All right. How long is it gonna take to max the hearts out? I think you can get what? Like five per visit, maybe? Thanks for requesting me. I'm Noah. What would you like? Okay. So she she likes fried food and doesn't like bitter veggies. Hi. How about something to eat? Let's have... Does the chicken basket count as fried? Okay. Deep fried chicken. Nice. Oh, I love that. Can I have some of yours? Are you on your way home from work today? Well, in a way. You must be tired then. You look like a hard worker. What? She's so touchy-feely. Really, I think so. You've got a different aura than most guys. Aura? There's just something about you that seems different. I can't put my finger on it. Look at that, like, creepy fake smile she has. It's probably because I enjoy my work. Do you like hardworking men? You're just saying that. Yeah, look at that fake-ass, creepy horror movie smile. Man. You do? What kind of work is it? You could say I'm in finance. Finance? Huh, that's kind of unusual. Not really. Lots of people come over to work in finance. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. Not many people in finance seem to enjoy their jobs. Oh, haha, that's true enough. It's tough to like that kind of work. But it's great that you do. Most customers complain about their jobs all the time. I'm kind of hungry. Can I order a chicken basket? Sure, why not? Wait, didn't we just have a whole basket of fried chicken? I feel like somebody's been following me recently. What? Like a stalker? I hope not, but it's been going on for a week. Hmm, has anything like this happened before? No, that's the, that's why I'm scared. Try hanging men's underwear on your clothesline. It must be tough to be such a popular girl. Actually, I'm the one who's been stalking you. Ah, 
Try hanging a man's underwear on your clothesline. He might see that and think you're living with a man. It could scare him off. Do girls really do that? I think so. Why don't you give it a try? Here, I'll give you some of mine. You can use that. But I don't think he follows me home. It's only when I'm here in Kamurocho or at the train station. Oh, then it probably wouldn't work. Well, you could just wait and see and how things play out. Kamurocho is a busy neighborhood, so I bet he'd... Oh, I hope not. Oh, you're in a good mood. I suppose I am. I just enjoy talking to men more than women. Is that right? Yes, that's why this job was such a good choice for me. I don't have to talk to any women at all. It's such a pain. Well, I mean, you have to talk to the other hostesses, presumably. Huh? You think it's a pain to talk to women? Why? Because they ask for your approval all the time. They're always like, don't you agree? You know, right? That kind of thing. Talking to them makes me tired. You sound like a guy. They just like talking to each other like that. Oh, I know what you mean. Sold out, man. Hearing a group of girls agreeing with each other as loudly as possible gives me a headache. I know, I can't stand listening to it. And if you actually say what you think, they look at you like you're crazy. <laughs> ha, yeah. Why do they even bother asking if they don't want your opinion? Exactly, you really understand, don't you? Is our time up already? Looks like it. Wait, I can't extend the session? Is that because it's the first session? Oh, thank you so much for requesting me. I think I had so much to drink. Oh, let's have stories. Oh, I should reply. What should I write? Are you a lightweight? I had fun too. Yeah. All right, let's do it again. Akiyama-san. Can I ask you something? Don't they? Hmm, what? Why do men like to brag about themselves? Brag? Yeah, I like men who work hard and are able to do something well, but they don't have to make a big deal about it. They talk about their little successes as if they were the most amazing things in the world. It's such a turnoff. Ah, they try to make themselves seem more important than they really are. Right, and it's not just that. Guys like to brag about their friends, too. That doesn't even have anything to do with them. That is annoying. They're just trying to impress you. If it's true, what's wrong with that? They're just trying to impress you. They're just trying to impress you. It's a matter of pride. Pride? Yeah, they probably don't have much self-confidence. They know they're not really that impressive, but they still want pretty girls to like them, so they create an ideal version of themselves to cover up their inadequacies. But what's wrong with not being successful? The important thing is that they're trying their best. Well, yeah, but they don't know what you think, so they try to look important. And it just ends up back for... Oh, that was negative points. I'm kind of hungry. Can I order the chicken basket? Oh, sure, of course. Are you going to have two baskets of chicken every single time we meet? No wonder you look like that. I mean, I wasn't going to mention it before, but yeah. She's definitely the uh, heavier of all the hostesses so far. What do you say when you're trying to pick up a girl? Well, why don't you tell me what you say first? Hey, no fair. Besides, I've never tried to pick anybody up. What do you do if you like somebody? I just sort of try to put out this aura that says, I love you. Then I wait for them to come to me. Like how touchy-feely you are and how you're constantly grabbing my arm every time we come here. That's not fair. Can you try doing it for me now? Does that really work? Hmm? Well, it certainly seems to get their attention. Hmm, I guess that makes a kind of sense. Men can be pretty good at noticing that a girl might be interested. Uh, I would... Mm, I don't agree. Yeah, by the time I turn my aura on, they're probably already in love with me. Ah, then I'll have to be careful around you. Akiyama-san. Oh man, you have to hear this. When I was walking to work, a foreigner asked me for directions. Well, foreigners are always stopping people for help. Oh, and are they always asking people out for dinner afterwards? What? Haha, ha, he tried to pick you up. Uh, yep, yeah, it's not the first time either. A while ago, a foreigner asked me to kiss him. Huh? Kiss him? Yeah, he was about my age. There was a group of foreigners making noise on the train. Then one suddenly ran up to me, said I was cute, and asked me to kiss him. He wouldn't give up either. The train was packed, too. It was so embarrassing. I bet he was Italian. He might have thought you were interested in him. That's quite an interesting experience. I don't need that kind of experience. I was so embarrassed I thought I'd die. What if I was somebody you liked instead of a stranger? Would you kiss him on a crowded train? What? No, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. That kind of thing should be done in private. <laughs> I see. This might be a good time to leave, but I don't have hearts on, so gotta get that heart on. I think I'll just stay a little bit longer. Oh, let's drink more. Hi. Let's have our third helping of fried chicken, right? Yeah. 
大好き。何？ Ouch! What? Is something wrong? Not really. My thighs are a bit sore. I just had practice. Oh, what kind of practice? Ballet. Really? You do ballet? Yep. I came in second in a national competition, actually. Huh? Wow, that's pretty impressive. You must be good. Oh, I guess. I've been dancing for 16 years. That's a long time. Can you dance a little bit for me? Do you want to do it professionally? So. Mm. No, not really. Besides, that competition I mentioned was in junior high. Oh, okay. Do you think you could have made it as a professional dancer? No, I actually got injured a few years ago. What is with all these negatives? Oh, I'm sorry for bringing it up. No, no, no. It's fine. It was a while ago. I see. No, I wish I could go to a race. A race? You mean horses? No, cars. I just love cars. You do? That's a bit unusual for a girl. I played racing video games when I was a kid, but I guess it was my ex-boyfriend who turned me on to live racing. You used to go to races with him. No, he was in the race. Really? He was a race car driver. Yeah, well, they were private races. He wasn't a professional. Wow. You'd probably be an expensive girlfriend. Were you just pretending to like it? Do you like to drive fast yourself? Mm. <laughs> ah, no, I just like to watch. But the faster the better, right? Of course. Hmm, I don't know if I'd like to go driving with you. I'd feel pressure to floor it the whole time. <laughs> eh, maybe you should give it a try. I think I'll pass. Uh, so, so. My brother got in a huge fight with my mom. Mm. Oh, what was it about? He's been spending all his time playing video games instead of studying. Oh. Video games, huh? Has he just started playing them? Mm -hmm. No, he's been a gamer since he was little. He did start playing online games recently, though. That's when he stopped studying. Eventually, my mom just snapped. That's too bad. <laughs> Heck, you know, I like to play the occasional video game myself. Oh, do you? Yep, what about you? Do you play video games? You know, not really. You know, love is like a game. I'm pretty good at the game of finance. You know, love is like a game, and I'm quite the player. Oh, please, that's pretty funny. No, really, it can be a fun to think up ways to hit on a particular girl. But love isn't a game. Don't you care about the girl's feelings? Of course I do. You have to consider their feelings to convince them to come home with you. But the girl might take you seriously. Think of how heartbroken she'd be. I didn't think you were such an insensitive guy. Oh, for fuck's sake. Is our time up already? Apparently. Oh, I just saw the most adorable outfit. It was expensive, so I'm holding it over. Then again, is it denying yourself bad for your mental health? What should I do? I reply, what should I write? Why don't you go ahead and buy it? If you're not sure, you shouldn't buy it. Are you asking me to buy it for you? <sighs> All right, let's try this again. Man, like, I hypothetically like the conversations, but they just make it so cumbersome, such a chore to, to do. There's so much spritzing, there's so much, like, blitzing through menus and having to wait for stuff to load. Oh, I don't feel so good. What's wrong? Too much cake. I went to one of those all-you-can-eat places. Cake, huh? Yep, I love it. What kind of cake did you eat? Let's see. Strawberry shortcake, chestnut cream, and chocolate. I kept eating those three over and over. That seems a little boring. Invite me the next time you go. Don't you gain weight eating like that? Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, nope. Not while I'm doing ballet. That was the correct answer. Oh, that explains it. Yeah, I couldn't eat sweets if I thought I might get fat. But you ate too much this time, right? Maybe you should watch it. Ah, uh, I was just trying to get my money's worth. Those places aren't cheap, you know. Ah, uh, okay. I do ballet, so I'm pretty confident about my figure. Oh, sh oh, sure. No, really, my legs in particular. If you don't believe me, see for yourself. All right, let's look at her legs. Focus on her legs. You're right, your legs are very beautiful. Ha, I told you. But I can't get a very good look because of that dress. What do you... What? What? Would you like to see me in a leotard? Uh. <laughs> I sure would. Well then, I'll bring in one of my ballet photos. Oh, so I can't see it in person? 
Suyasa. What kind of guys do you like, Noah? Guys? Well... Wait a second, you never told me how you pick up girls. Oh. I didn't. Oh, huh, that's weird. Anyway, what kind of guys do you like? <laughs> hey, that's not fair. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fine. I guess I like guys who work hard, drive fast, and treat me well. So they have to be rich? You really like cars, don't you? That last one's pretty obvious, don't you think? <laughs> you really like cars, don't you? I love them. And I suppose you don't like automatic transmissions, huh? That's right. It's manual or nothing for me. That's gonna be tough. Lots of young guys don't even have cars. Oh, it doesn't have to be a young guy. I don't care much about age. Is that so? Yeah, so I wouldn't even mind going out with a guy your age. Uh, thanks, I guess. Next. Have you heard any news or gossip recently? I figured you'd know all sorts of interesting stories. Something interesting, huh? Well. Have you heard of... 777 Town? So, yes, huh? Oh, I have. It's the game that lets you play pachinko and slots in your PC or oh. cell, right? That's the one. Do you play? <laughs> yep, I love pachinko. I go to the pachinko all the time. Oh, I even play it at home. Oh, no. I'm kind of hungry. Can I order a chicken basket? No. We've maxed the hearts. Oh. You don't need any more chicken. The hearts are maxed. So, yeah, so where do you like to go on dates? Oh, dates? Mm, I don't know. That's hard to say. What about you? What, what would your ideal date be like? Well, I... Hey, why do I always have to go first? It isn't fair. This is the last time, I promise. Hmm. Well, all right. Let's see. We would go out to lunch, then a bit of shopping. <laughs> play some video games at home, too. And then dinner. Oh, and I wouldn't mind going to a race. They don't have races that often. Doesn't really sound like a date. I don't think we have the same tastes. Uh, these all seem like bad answers. Huh? Of course they do. There's a race almost every week somewhere. There is. I don't hear too much about them. I should take you to one then. I bet you'll love it. <laughs> if you say so, do you need earplugs or something? Oh no, it'd be a waste to wear earplugs at a race. The sound is half the fun. That can't be good for your ears. Okay, good. Let's stop. Oh, we're good. We're done. Oh, come back. Yeah, all right. I went to a car show. They had all kinds of fancy cars. Wow, I wanted to go out for a spin and all though. I wonder if awesome. I wonder if someone awesome would take me on a drive. Adios. I should reply. I could drive you, but I'd go slow. Why don't you go to the racetrack? Aren't all cars basically the same? Why don't you go to the racetrack? Question mark. Do these replies do anything? Hello, this is Noah from Jewel. Oh, hi, what's up? Um, I was thinking, would you like to meet up today? Sure, can we meet up in Theater Square? Theater Square, got it. I'll be waiting for you, don't take too long. Hello there, you're a little bit early. Ha, tee -hee, I came here early too. Why are you looking around like that? I think someone has been following me since I left the club. Really? Who? Um, let's see. Oh, over there. That guy? Yeah. Actually, he's one of my customers. What? You mean from the club? Yeah. Wow. Sounds like you got a stalker. Yeah. What am I going to do? Want me to go scare him off? Oh, no. Let's just leave. So, where are you taking me today? Let's go out to eat. And max the restaurants out. Let's go out to eat. Let's get Watami. Alright, can I get started off? Maybe I should order for the both of us. Can I order every drink? I could order all the drinks. Yeah, all the drinks. And then let's get all the food. I mean, I assume veggies are a part of this and she won't like them, but... 
Just gotta max the menu out while we can. The premium malts draft. Yuzu honey sour. Oolong tea. Kishu nanko plum sour. Oolong cocktail. And mesh. Blah, blah, blah. Grapefruit and apple vinegar sour. Kaku highball. Moscow mule. Gin and tonic. Cassis and orange. Tropical sunrise. Organic soybean yose dofu. Chicken karage. Fermented bean and yam omelet. Broiled Hokkaido mackerel. Egg yolk beef sukune. Organic vegetable salad. Fried gyoza. Sashimi platter. Tomato bacon pizza. Tomato bacon pizza? What? Stone cooked shark's fin fried rice. Chocolate and green tea ice cream. Okay. Oh no. Part of that meal included veggies. Couldn't we just eat them instead of her? Oh, I was so busy talking to you that I didn't eat as much as I wanted. All the more reason to come again. That's true. We should definitely do this again. Bye. Okay. So two hearts right off the bat. One for popularity items and then one for ordering the food they like. Is that customer from before still giving you trouble? Actually, he came to the club today. He kept asking all these personal questions. I don't think he knows that I caught him stalking me. What did he ask you? Like, do I ever go out on dates with other customers? And do I like to go out drinking after I get off work? What did you say? Well, I told him that I usually go straight home after work. And he said, you're lying. I know it. What a creep. Are you going to tell the police to just leave him be? What a creep. Oh. I know. Oh, why does this have to happen to me? When you first met him, did you notice anything strange? No, he was just a normal customer. But after a while, he started to change. Maybe there's something about you that drives men insane. What? Are you saying it's my fault? Yeah, what the fuck, Nakayama? Ah, oh, you're so funny. What, is something wrong? Not really. We touch people a lot while you're talking to them. Yeah! I do? Yeah. You don't even seem to notice it. Maybe you've been doing it with your soccer too. Maybe I have. Hmm, that could be part of the problem. What do you mean? When a woman touches a man like that, she sends him a pretty strong message. He starts to think she really likes him. He does. You have to watch who you're talking to. You shouldn't touch your customers. You have to get rid of that habit. You have to get rid of that habit, especially if you do it without noticing. You're right, but how can I? Hmm. How about always keeping something in your hands, like a handkerchief? Hey, that's not a bad idea. I'll give that a try. You're pretty smart, you know. Uh-oh, you touched me again. Ah, why do I keep doing that? This could take a while. I'm kind of hungry. Can I order the chicken? Sure. But man, it's just it just only gives me a quarter heart. It's just so little. Oh, how long is this going to last? What? The stalker, it feels like he's been bothering me forever. Hmm, you should take a taxi to and from work. That'd be too expensive. Yeah, that's true. What if you asked another hostess to walk home with you? Uh, I don't want to tell the other girls about this. Don't you have any friends here? I could be your escort. Do you want me to talk to the girls for you? Oh. Mm. Do you want me to talk to the girls for you? What? No, no, no. You're already helping me enough without asking the other girls to escort yeah. me home. Don't worry about it. I like getting involved in other people's business. Yada. No, please. I'd be too embarrassed to have everyone worrying about me. Hmm. Well, if anything else happens, just call me. Okay. This might be a good time to leave, but I haven't hearted on her. I think I'll stay and continue to hard on. Hi. More fried chicken. Oh, no. Oh, when my friends started working as a race champion. Yeah, I wish I could do that too. Really? You'd like to be a race queen? Yep, every time I go to a race, I think of how much fun it would be. They do add something to the race, don't they? Maybe you could dress up like one here. Wouldn't that be embarrassing? Oh, they do add something, don't they? Yeah, they make it a lot more fun to watch. Hmm, you know, it's good for the audience, but what about the drivers? What do you mean? Well, it must be hard to concentrate with pretty girls in bathing suits running around. Ha ha ha, don't worry about them. Once the race starts, race queens are the last thing on their minds. What do you mean in bathing suits? Oh, God. Huh, yeah. Uh -huh. You will fall. You will fall in love with me. Oh, huh? What's that? Oh, no, you have to look into my eyes. You will fall in love with me. Oh, you will fall in love with me. What the hell was that? Okay, focus on her eyes. Akiyama-san, <laughs> 
much. You'll fall in love with me. You will fall in love with me. Oh. How do you feel? Do you seriously think telling me to fall in love with you will work? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. You've been mumbling to yourself this whole time. Oh, you heard that? Why didn't you say something earlier? I'm so embarrassed. What? 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 The other day, one of the kids at my ballet class said, Wait, what? You're a ballet teacher too? Oh yeah, I teach ballet to kids once a week. I knew you danced, but I had no idea you taught. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Anyway, I usually go to a class without any makeup on, but this time I went completely made up. All the girls kept saying how cute I was. Heh, <laughs> I bet. Then one of them said, You look a hundred times better than usual. <laughs> ha, that's not the kind of compliment you really want to get, is it? Oh, I thought it was hilarious. I mean, I'm a hundred times better looking with makeup. So you look pretty terrible without makeup, huh? Kids are so innocent. What do you do to look a hundred times better? Oh, <laughs> Oh, well, kids exaggerate everything. True enough. I once heard a boy telling another he owed him a billion yen. Right, they don't know how big a number that is. So makeup doesn't make you 100 times more beautiful. I'm afraid not. Maybe 10 times. Uh, what do you think of wearing an all-denim outfit? Hmm, why do you ask? Well, my friend went out on a date and the guy showed up wearing a jean jacket and blue jeans. Can you believe that? What? Who cares? That's a little much. What's wrong with that? That was the style back there. What's wrong with that? Mm. Eh? What? I'm talking head to toe here. Head to toe. So, what's the big deal? It's it's just not done. I wouldn't want to be seen in public with somebody like that. It'd take a serious weirdo to think that looks good. Oh, okay. Eh? Oh, for fuck's sake. On the last question. Uh, so we have to do a whole nother round just to get that one fucking heart back. God damn it. Oh, I think I've gained weight. Maybe it's because I ate too much cake when I went out with my friends and I have a ballet lesson. Oh, I want to go on a diet and stay away from cake. It's not healthy to deny yourself. I don't worry about what I ate. I'd love to see a fat ballerina. All right. A whole goddamn another round of this just to get that one fucking heart. Jesus Christ. Oh, she's not working. Fantastic. Does the fact that we got her to the full heart Matt get the uh, the next thing to unlock regardless of whether or not okay that's good hello this is Noah oh what's up I've been thinking about you do you have some time today to hang out sure sounds good okay how about we meet in theater square all right so as long as you get to the 15 hearts it doesn't matter if you then lose them before the the session ends hello there you're a little bit early oh I'm early too Wait, she has more hearts than when we left. Oh, it's him again. Who, the stalker? This is getting ridiculous. I'm gonna go talk to him. Wait, look. Huh? Oh, there's another stalker. What the? Is that guy stalking you too? Maybe, but he's he's another one of my customers. What? Are you kidding me? Please don't go over there. Let's just go. But so where are you taking me today? Let's uh so we finished eating, right? Let's go hang out. Where should we go? We should go bowling, darts, karaoke, hot springs. Karaoke. Oh, karaoke, I love karaoke. Today. I think I'll go with raindrops. But we we've done this one already. Really? Alright. I would have thought for sure that the different hostesses would all have different songs that they sing. Uh yeah.
Isn't it weird that the Y's don't sound anything like Akiyama whatsoever? gonna sing the same uh slow moving your number 11 or one or whatever the heck it is that felt so good you really know how to heat things up oh we're done okay good we don't have to do akiyama singing his version of the song Whew, that felt great i really sang my heart out you're a great singer, and you cheered me on very well, too. I was pleasantly surprised. Want to head back to the club now? Sounds good. Oh, we're immediately going back to the club? Awesome. Thank you for taking me out. I don't want our date to end yet, though. Why not come inside for a couple of drinks? All right, we can finish this off. Oh, this diet's driving you crazy. It's not fair. Hey, don't bring me down just because you don't like your diet. There's a reason why I'm not on one myself. Maybe you should be. You can go on a diet with me. You should be watching your weight at your age anyway. Give me a break. Nah. Have you heard any news or gossip recently? I figured you know all sorts of interesting stories. Well, let's talk about pole dancing. Why not? Oh, it must be. Any kind of dancing burns fat all over your body. Oh, that's right. You do ballet, right? I guess you don't need to slim down. Does this mean that you've got another stalker? Wait, what? Ha ha ha. Oh, I don't know what to do. Well, you're certainly popular, things are getting interesting. I don't think he'll be the last either. Well, you're certainly popular. Most houses don't have that kind of following. But I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I wonder what the other girls would do in this situation. Hmm. Hostesses make most of their money from steady customers. In a way, a stalker is the steadiest customer of all. And at least your customers aren't getting into fights over you. Not yet, anyway. Oh, I'm starting to get sick of this job. Even if you quit, there's no guarantee they'll leave you alone. I know, I'm so depressed. What the heck was that conversation? You were right about me. How so? One of my male friends told me that he liked me. Ah, we hang out a lot, but I never thought of him that way. He said he told me because he thought I felt the same way. Wow, he must have been hurt when you told him he didn't. It was my fault, right? I must have let him on. Men and women can't be friends. You have to be careful. It's not your fault. You, okay, that one. Ugh. You have to be careful. Men can be animals. They may act nice, but you never know what they're thinking. <laughs> I guess you're right. Are you that way too? What do you mean? Do you think of me as a possible girlfriend? Of course. But I don't sneak around like those stalkers of yours. If I like somebody, I come out and say so. Oh, that makes me feel better. Oh, so then is there anything you're planning on telling me? Hey, are you trying to get me to tell you I'm in love with you? <laughs> a real man wouldn't beat around the bush, would he? Oh, bother. Oh, brother. One of my customers got mad at me. What happened? Oh, I was talking about how my ex-boyfriend told me that I should take cooking classes. Then what? And I said going to classes is a big pain. I mean, you can learn to you can learn to cook from books, so I never went. And this customer said, cooking is an elegant balance of technique and sensitivity. You can't learn that from reading a book. Ah, I understand. He must have a short temper. Why do you get so mad about something like that? I think he's right. Why do you get so mad about something like that? It's not like he's your father. Yeah, he just took the whole thing so seriously. Hmm, maybe he wasn't really mad at you. He might have just been trying to help. You think so? Sure, it sounds like he really cares about cooking. That may have been all it was. He was probably more excited than, than angry. Huh, maybe you're right. 
Huh. And you know, he might have known what he was talking about. Maybe you should take cooking classes. I mean, do you know how to cook at all? Uh, nope. Haha, at least you're honest. This might be a good place to stop, but we don't have enough hard-ons yet. Gotta get all those hard-ons to the screen. I think I'll just stay a bit longer. Your glass is empty. Would you like another one? I'm starting to think I really am stupid. What? Why would you say that? Did another customer get mad at you? Yeah, he said I didn't know anything. What ended up happening? He kept us using all these words I'd never heard of. I couldn't follow what he was saying. Something about credit default swaps? I had no idea what he was talking about. Most people don't know about that kind of thing. What a jerk. Do you read much? Most people don't know about that kind of thing. You'd have to be in finance. Oh, so that's a specialized term? Yes, you could hear it on the news, but you don't use it outside of financial institutions. Okay, man, I hate it when people just assume everyone should understand everything they say. Yeah, don't worry, you're not stupid. <laughs> thanks. All right, just one more, one more. Do you have a girlfriend? No, why? Hmm, what? I think you'd come to places like this even if you did have a girlfriend. Uh... Hmm. It depends. I might go once in a while. Once in a while? When you could sneak away from your girlfriend, you mean? That's not what I meant. I just don't know what I might do. I'll make up my mind when the time comes. But I want to know now. I'm just not sure. I might and I might not. So you can't say that you wouldn't. I see. Oh. Uh, can I ask you something? Yeah. I'm not very ladylike, am I? Uh, well, I wouldn't say that. Hey, you had to think about it. <laughs> okay. What do you think of girls who aren't very ladylike? There's more to it. There's more to that question, isn't there? You're really asking what I think about you, right? What? Um, okay, then what do you think of girls like me? I don't dislike them. I can't say in front of you. Why can't you just come out and say it? I don't dislike them. Hmm, that's a little vague. You don't dislike them, but you don't like them either? Well, if I had to choose, I'd say I like them. Why didn't you just say that? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, never mind. This was hard enough to ask, and you're not making it any easier. Oh, what is this bullshit? What is this bullshit? Oh, our time's up. Yeah, I guess our time's up. What is with the putting the hand on the chest? Oh, it's popular new cake at the convenience store. You should definitely try it. I should reply to her email. What should I write? You really like cake, don't you? I'd like to try some of that myself. You're not cutting back at all, are you? I'd like to try some of that myself. Man, all this is getting cut. All this busy work. Oh, the stalker. Which one? Stalker or stalker B? Oh, uh, the new one. Stalker B, then. Sounds like he's escalating things. I'm starting to get scared. What should I do? He needs to be taught a lesson. You'll just have to move. Let's just see what happens. He needs to be taught a lesson. Next time you see him, give me a call. Huh? What would you, what would you do? I'll knock some sense into him. It sounds like he could use a good punch. But what if you get hurt? I'd rather be the one who gets hurt instead of you. Oh, that's so sweet. You're so good to me. Let me just take care of it, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Mm, oh, is something wrong? I'm okay. You feeling sick? A bit. A customer took me out for some tempura, and I don't think it agreed with me. Maybe the oil is bad. You're too used to the cheap stuff. You shouldn't go out with other customers. Oh. Maybe the oil was bad. I don't know. If it isn't fresh, it can make you sick. You might be right. It was a pretty nice restaurant, though. Even the best places can be a little lax about things like that. Yeah, I guess I just had bad luck. You can relax if it makes you feel better. Okay. My little brother's birthday is coming up. Oh, how old is he? 18. So he's not much younger than you. Yeah, he says that he wants to go to a movie on his birthday. With you, doesn't he have a girlfriend? I don't think so. Not if he wants to hang out with me on his birthday. <laughs> Fair enough. It's kind of sad going to a movie with your big sister on your 18th birthday. You don't mind going? Why don't you introduce him to a girl? It's a bit weird, too. You don't mind going? Don't you need to find a boyfriend yourself? Oh, I'm okay. I've already got someone I like. You do? You never mentioned that before. Well, it's a secret. Then why do you come to me with your stalker problems? Wouldn't you be talking to this guy? I already am. Huh? You are? Eh, yep, he's been a big help. 
Yes, we did it. We got the 20 hearts. This might be a good time to leave. Yes. Oh, we got the fancy business card. Oh, it's so... F oh, look at how fancy that business card is. Oh, fancy. Okay, is when they say they love you, because I know Japanese ski is love, but it's also like they don't have they don't have different they don't have uh, different terms for that. So is it just like is that just lost in translation basically? Okay, so what is the difference? Okay, yeah, it's the same business card, but one has sparkles on it. Hmm. All right, to Theater Square. Akiyama, I'm in a huge mess. You gotta help me. Oh, is that you? Slow down. What happened? My stalkers, they... It's terrible. Just get here as soon as you can. I'm in the underground... The underground mall. Okay, I'm on my way. Oh, all her stalkers are fighting each other. Akiyama, Noah-chan, are you okay? Yeah, but... There's three stalkers. Noah-chan is mine. The rest of you guys need to wise up. What are you talking about? Noah-chan loves me. What happens in a hostess club isn't real. I'm the only one who Noah actually cares about. Hmm, have you gained a new stalker since last I checked? He's the friend I told you about before. Ah, so he became a stalker too. Each of them suddenly realized that the others were stalking me and they started shouting at each other. Hey, I've seen you. You're always following Noah-chan around. If you hurt her, I'll never forgive you. You're another one of her customers, huh? Why can't you accept that she only talks to you because you pay her? Akiyama-san, look, you guys can fall in love with anybody you want, but have any of you considered Noah-chan's feelings? Of course I have. Noah and I were even lovers in the past life. Huh? A past life? What are you talking about? We sort of talked about that at the club once. I just mentioned something about it possibly being true. I didn't mean anything by it. I guess he took it seriously. Well, Noah-chan emails me once a week. That proves she cares about me. Is that one of your mass emails? Yes. Well, I've been out with Noah lots of times. He was in a group of friends that I went to karaoke with a few times. There were like 10 other people there. I see. Look, Noah-chan bears some responsibility for misleading you all. No. But honestly, you're all getting nowhere with her. What are you talking about? That's not true. As for you, she already told you she's not interested, right? Shut up. What about you? What's your relationship with Noah? Me? Well, I'm actually, I'm not sure. Akiyama! Ha ha ha, just kidding. In any case, if you don't leave Noah alone, I'm gonna have to make you understand. I'm gonna have to make you understand. Fine with me, I'll show you how much I love her. You're not stealing Noah away from me. Yeah, you can't break the bond between Noah and me that easily. Well, that makes things simpler. Let's do this. I'm not giving up so easily. This is just another trial that I have to overcome to prove my love. Ah, oh, you'll have to do better than that. Just stop it, all of you. No, Chan. Look. It's nice that you like, that you all like me, but I'm sorry. I don't feel that way about you. So please, stop following me around. No, I don't buy it. Are you going out with somebody else? If not, I'm not giving up. Um, yes, I'm going out with someone. Oh, it's, isn't that right, darling? Huh, me? Come on, Akiyama, let's go. Uh, okay. You did it. You finally got rid of them. It's all thanks to you. 
I never figured pretending to be your boyfriend would make them give up. We should have just done that from the start. Heh <laughs> heh, what do you mean pretending? Huh? I'd like you to be my real boyfriend. Really? Is this how you envisioned it happening? Why not? Seriously. Yes, please. Uh, okay. Well, okay. And then we just never see her again. What are you doing? Hmm? Oh, I was just checking to see if they were still following me. I don't think you have to worry about that. Ah, oh, I wanted them to see how in love we are. Give me a break. Ah ha ha. Thank you for everything. I love you. 10,000 experience points. Well. Sorry for always causing you trouble, and thanks for always putting up with me. I'm looking forward to lots of dates with you from now on. You're the greatest. Alright, so now that we've done two full hostesses, Ryu and Noah, I want to see what happens when we talk to the guy in Suez Bar. Uh, this guy, right? Yeah. Oh, good to see you. Ready to tell me about girls at Jewel and Shine? Tell him about Ryo. Tell him about Noah. Oh, let's see. Is there anything particularly good at? She strikes me as the athletic type. She likes ballet. Oh, I bet we could really hit it off with that. Now, this isn't exactly an original question, but do you know what Noah Chan's favorite treat is? Uh, chicken basket. Oh, I guess I'll just order that. Lastly, what's Noah Chan's type? Good drivers. Oh, so that's her biggest weakness, eh? Does that mean she's not into comedians? Either way, you've certainly brought me a lot of info, but are you sure it's reliable? It's as good as gold. Great, I'll just write this baby up and hand it into Ashiba. She's downright scary if you miss the deadline. Oh, also, Ashiba will be bringing your payment this way, so would you mind stopping by again later? Okay. Wait. Okay. Akiyama-san, the article I wrote with your info was a huge hit. I'm getting a lot of thanks from guys saying it really helped them have a great time at the club. And I've even improved my standing among my fellow editors. It's all thanks to you. I got a bonus for the article, so I had him throw a little something extra away. Here you go. You got 30,000 yen. Oh, 30,000 yen. That'll help me with one outing to a hostess club. Really? I can't just talk to him again? Okay, good. Tell me. Uh, tell him about Rio. What's her favorite drink? I have no freaking idea. I don't think she ever says. I don't think she ever says. Uh, she has a dog. Oh, I can talk about pets forever. Any other job Rio would like to try apart from hostessing? She wants to work as a pinup model. Wow, that's an aspiration. Anyway, you've certainly brought me info. Yeah, sure. Oh, at least two of those are good enough. Oh, Araka wrote info went over pretty well. There were a few little inconsistencies, but that's okay. At first, I didn't know how I'd manage, but thankfully... Okay, here's your payment. You got 10,000 yen. Wow. Wow, you only get, if you get one third of the questions wrong, you only get one third of the, of the profit. Whew. That's pretty bad. The last thing I want to check is, we never did karaoke with Rio, so I want to go do that. Call a date to sing with. All right. Who do you want to call? Let's call Rio. Let's 
Sorry if you waited long. Let's go have some fun. Oh, is it always raindrops? Is it seriously always raindrops? Okay. Well, never mind. All right, so... I feel like the hostesses are not really worth it this time. They're not the the insane train wrecks that the ones from 3 are. So their plot lines wind up being just kind of whatever. Like the two that we've done so far, they're just, they're okay. Nothing much to it. So I think I'll give the other ones a chance. Just to see if there's anything interesting there, but probably will not be finishing the hostesses this time around. Alright, welcome to Shine. Oh, I have to have no preference in order to see the other ones? I guess so. Does Rio sh Rio doesn't show up again, does she? This is Himeka! <laughs> you're Himeka, right? Nice to see you again. Wow, you remembered my name. Thank you so much. I have to say, I was a little intimidated after seeing you in that magazine, but you're so cute and petite in person. Mm. Really? I wish I were a bit taller. Oh? Sorry if I hit a nerve. Oh, it's Shizuka. My name is Shizuka. Oh, I got a request. Please enjoy yourself. Bye for now. Hi. Haven't I met you before? Oh, yes. You're Akiyama, aren't you? Nice, nice to see you again. Uh, you even remember non-regular customers. I can't remember everyone I speak with, but I usually remember the names of the ones who stand out for some reason. So it's like this whole no preference thing and you have to scout them ahead of time. Is, it's like it's just adding more busy work to it. <laughs> oh. Well, make yourself comfortable. Okay. Oh, Rio's back? Oh, Akiyama, you're not requesting me today? Kanpai. Oh, you didn't request me today? Uh, I just thought I'd try something different this time. I guess it gets boring talking to me every time, huh? No, not at all. Look, I'll be sure to request you next time, okay? You promise? I'm gonna hold you to it. I guess it's about that time. Oh yeah, you're right. Here's your bill, sir. All right, thank you. We hope to see you again. Wait, I didn't even get the cards of the other girls. Oh my god, you have to random it? You gotta be kidding. You have to random it? And you just you can just wind up not even being able to request the other ones? That is bad, man. That is so bad. All right, let's uh, go and... Oy. I know I have one of the other ones that I can request from Jewel at the least, so I can at least see one more of them. It's Arena, right? She likes liver, sashimi, and perfume. Hello, welcome to Jewel. Please come inside. All right, let's request Arena. I'm real glad I decided to come to Tokyo. Why do you say that all of a sudden? Oh, I'm just happy that a nice man like you decided to come and request me, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been here anyway? Mm. Actually, about 10 days. Really? You're probably still getting used to it then. Yep, but I've already gotten the hang of the pace here. Pace? What do you mean? 
how fast people walk. I've always been a fast walker, so I didn't have any trouble fitting in. I think I made the right choice in coming here. What's your favorite place in Tokyo? Mm. Well, actually, I haven't been able to get around much. Do you know any fun places to go? Hmm. Well, sure, but everyone has different tastes. What kind of things do you like? Maybe I can show you around a little bit. Money. Really? That'd be great. Do you want to go sightseeing or maybe out eating or shopping? Mm. Well, maybe some sightseeing first, then a nice drink afterwards. If you can find the time, that'd be nice. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to it. Akiyama-san. Um, can I tell you something? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. Forgot I said anything. Huh? Come on, spit it out. Well, I'm actually seeing someone. Oh? And you left him back in, Ka in Kyoto? No, he's here. Oh, did you come to Tokyo to be with him? No, I met him here. Really? But I thought you just got here a little while ago. I met him the day after I got here. You're kidding. That's fast work. Maybe, but he's real handsome. Just your type, huh? Well, I thought maybe I was moving too fast, but... How'd you two meet? Mm. Oh, he walked up to me when my friend and I were out drinking. He picked you up just like that. What's with the young girls these days? Is this something you tell all your customers? He picked you up just like that? I guess he did. And you decided to go out with him? I guess I like to be flattered. And I just arrived in Tokyo, so I was kind of caught up in the excitement. Well, okay, so what did you want to say about this guy? Oh, just that we're going out. Huh? That's it? That's why you're so happy? <laughs> yep. I'm so depressed. I wish I could stop thinking about this. What happened? I went shopping yesterday and I accidentally left the dress I bought behind on the train. Ouch. I'm just so mad at myself. I bought it because I knew my boyfriend would like it. It was a cute little dress. Cute isn't really my thing, but I thought I'd like it. You choose what you wear depending on who you're with? Oh yeah, I do that all the time. I guess you can be cute when you try. Wouldn't you rather wear something you like? I think you've got it wrong. Wouldn't you rather something you like? Oh, I don't mind as long as he likes it, I'm happy. Really? That's a bit of a surprise. Why is that strange? Oh, it's just that most people tend to go out with people with similar tastes, whether it's fashion, music, or whatever. But haven't you ever found yourself growing to like something that a girlfriend of yours liked? Huh, come to think of it, I have. So you mean you're starting to like the kind of clothes that he likes? Mm. Well, maybe not quite yet. I see. I guess there's nothing wrong with dressing to suit somebody else's taste, but don't go overboard. Mm. I'm kind of hungry. Can I order some dried raffin? Sure, why not? Honmani? Oh, I guess that's it. Thanks for requesting me. I'm still used to the pace of life in Tokyo, but I'm going to work out, work hard to get into the swing of things. I should reply to her email. What should I write? I'll show you around someplace next time. No need to force yourself. It was nice meeting you. I'll show you around someplace next time. So, I mean, they're just kind of normal. They're just normal. I, I don't really feel motivated to finish any of these storylines because I don't feel like there's any big payoff or anything crazy going on with them. Uh, yeah, I think we're done with the hostesses for this game, except for obviously managing uh, Lily. So I'm guessing Lily's stuff is somewhat locked into story progression since it's just not allowing me to continue it right now. And I also assume that she's in some way related to the main plot as well. Yeah. Today's Lily's last day at the club. She has to sell a total of 3 million yen in three days. I should drop by and see if she needs any point. Are you kidding me? Did I have to come all the way back here just to get that trigger? Pushing my buttons, Yakuza. You're pushing my buttons. I am here to give Lily Chan her last training session. Of course, feel free to go to the back room. You can train your hostesses between her shifts. Training allows you to improve the service stats of the hostesses, so it's important to train consistently. Look, smarts and charisma, as well as motivation and stress can be affected by training. Yeah, we've been over this in the last game. All right. Uh, dress up should be the same. So training. Uh, 
Um, I guess looks are C grade, so let's just get those up. Let's work on your presentation, makeup, hair, posture. All these things send certain signals to a man. I see, tell me more. You're doing very well, good job out there. Thank you, it's all thanks to your help. Her looks increase, wait. Her smarts and charisma dropped? Did I see that correctly? Excuse me? Oh no, she didn't get any requests. Okay, if you don't got charisma, you can be the Queen of France and it doesn't matter. Nothing beats a charismatic girl. All right, they all want chariz charismatic girls. I mean, I don't think dressing up has anything to do with that. Let's teach you talking tips, I suppose. Her charisma went up to an A. It skipped a whole entire grade. Okay. Let's go to the club, I guess. My gosh, she's... She's doing well. I just have to walk around these pillars now. Oh, smooth talkers. They want smooth talkers. Hmm? My gosh. Oh, there's a guy. He's getting handsy. <laughs> Lily looks a little tired. I think I'm done surveying. Time to head to the back room. That's what you have to say about that? That's what you had to say about that. Does it just have a like a set of record a set of predetermined animations and dialogue responses, and it just cycles through them at random, regardless of what actually happens? It doesn't pair them or anything? Check stats. All right, she's super stressed out. We better, we better give her some free time. Oh, she's relaxed, okay. How did that increase her charisma? Okay. I officially have no freaking idea how this works. All right, go to the club. Oh, there she is. All right, how far do I actually have to walk before it'll prompt me? Yeah, okay, all the way around. Why didn't I shack up with a smooth talking girl like you? Oh, my marriage is a wreck. Great work today. I'll get in touch with you later. See you next time. I'll tell you everything I know. It's all up to you now. Okay. There's still some time until the club closes. Good luck. So, what if you. What if you just completely screwed this up and, you know, did nothing in terms of improving your looks or actually did stuff that was counterintuitive, that was counterproductive? Would it just hand wave that and be like, oh yeah, she got it. Oh, go back to the office again. Hello, Akiyama. So, how'd Lily-chan do? I just finished totaling her receipts. Let's see here, over the three days here, she made Three million nine hundred eighty and nine hundred eighty thousand yen. Hot damn, that's incredible. I know you said she'd only be here three days, but the club would really benefit if she decided to keep working here. She has a rare talent for keeping customers happy. Business has been booming ever since she came. <laughs> that's great to hear. 
Is Lily Chan there now? I'd like to speak with her if she is. Certainly. One moment, please. Hello, Lily speaking. Hey, Lily, I heard you did well. Yes, and it's all thanks to you, Akiyama. Nonsense. That's all you, Lily. Your natural talent and hard work. But without your guidance, I'm not sure I would have passed the test. And for that, I'm incredibly grateful. Happy to help. Now, about that money. I have it ready if you have time to meet. Sure, where should I go? How's the roof of the Millennium Tower sound? We can meet there. Okay, I'll be wait. How's the roof of the Millennium Tower? Oh, yeah, let's just go there. Not a bar, not the office, not the club. The roof of the Millennium Tower. Okay. Okay, Akiyama. Head to the Millennium Tower. I better hurry to the top of the Millennium Tower. Lily Channel will be waiting for me. Are there any locker keys in here, though? Locker keys. Locker keys. Where are the locker keys? There are none, or maybe, again, you just can't access it because you're in a story mission right now. I don't know. Let's just keep going. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful texture. Why do the women always wear these, like, baggy, flashier coats? Every single time they're outdoors. Akiyama-san. Oh, okay, no more cuts soon. Well, here's your loan, 100 million yen, as we agreed. Thank you so much. Er, I wouldn't open that just yet. Huh? What if the wind blew it all away? You'd have a hell of a time trying to get it back. Oh, right. That would be awful. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. It's all neatly bundled up. Go ahead, take a look. Okay. Hard to believe it all fits in there, huh? Hmm? That briefcase contains about a third of what the average college graduate makes his entire life. And his monthly pay is a tiny fraction of that. Strange to think how a man can struggle so much for so little. It's true. But even that can be enough to change someone's whole life. Akiyama, thank you so much. My pleasure. At first, I... I was planning to just take the money and run. Yeah? But you... you believed in me. You made me feel like it was okay to dream again. It had been so... it had been so long since I'd felt that way. That's why I'm going to pay back every last yen, no matter how long it takes. Yeah, about that. Don't worry about it. What? No interest either, although it's not like Sky Finance charges it anyway. I don't understand. I'm not in this business for the money. Money changes people's lives. I just like to see it happen up close and personal. Okay, yeah, sure, but you have to... Even if you're like, oh, I'm doing this just as a charity. I'm just being philanthropic. I don't care about making a profit. Well, you still have to make enough money to keep the lights on and... and lend to more people and employ your secretary. Why did you choose this sort of test for me? Are you sure you want to know? I don't normally tell folks the reasoning behind the tests I give them. I'm sure. Well, this time around, it wasn't about seeing how serious or determined you were. Truth be told, I was testing myself. I don't understand. Hmm, how do I put it? Let's just say I don't consider myself the best judge of character. Why is that? I've been betrayed a lot over the years. It'd almost be funny if it weren't so tragic. That's awful. But it's true. The bank I worked at set me up, then cut me loose. The woman I loved walked out on me. It's been one thing after another ever since. It's just the other day, just the other day, a Yakuza I'd been backing straight up killed a guy and disappeared. It got me wondering if I should even bother trusting anyone anymore. Akiyama-san. I guess it's all just part of the job. Still, I'd at least like to think I'm safe with the people I trust. I'm only human, you know. So how did having me work at your club test you? Because I found you alluring, enough to make three million in three days. 
I wanted to see if my hunch was right. Sorry to put you through all this for something so stupid. No, it's okay. I feel really lucky to have met you. Maybe, but luck isn't something that just finds you. You have to get out there and put yourself in a position to be lucky. And for what it's worth, I couldn't be happier that you passed the test. What do you mean? Luck isn't something that just finds you. You have to put yourself out there. You are literally, your whole entire story is the exact opposite of that lesson. You were literally a homeless guy just sleeping on the street and the Millennium Tower explosion had money drift down from the sky, which you somehow rounded up by hand enough to completely reverse your life. Okay. Akiyama-san. その代わりと言っちゃなんだけど一つ教えてほしいことがある。何ですか。どうしてリリちゃん。人を殺して回ってるの。ん?金村工業の組長を殺したの。君だよね。違います。How the heck did you figure that out? 店長もそうだろ。どうしてあんなことしてるんだ。あのライター。ライター。そう。君が初めてうちの店。That is an absolutely gigantic conclusion to jump to just because she has the same lighter. あのライター、大女優って店のだったでしょ。Also, that would only link her to the guy at the drama queen, not the other guy. 以前世話になった店だって。あの店ね、女装バーだったんだよ。知ってた？店のキャストは全員男だったんだよ。だから君が働いていたというのはおかしい。なら君はいったいいつそのライターを手に入れたのか。きっと店長を殺した時だよね。現場で死んでいた男の
Really? You did you did? Way to go, Chief. Take care, alright? Talk to you later. Okay, I should probably head back to Sky Finance. There's a matter that needs discussion, sir. Would you mind coming by the club to talk? Sure, what's wrong? Well, it's about the club's finances. I'm afraid if I don't ask for your help, the club may be in danger of going under. Really? Well, we want to avoid that. Okay, I'll be there soon. Oh, so how's the club doing? Well, as I said on the phone, business isn't very good. I see. What's the problem? We just don't have enough girls, sir. There is a lot of competition out there in Camarocho, and everyone is looking for girls. The other clubs employ scouts to find new girls and even hire professional trainers for the girls on their payroll. We should do the same if we want to compete. Otherwise, we'll keep losing money. I'll take care of this myself. I see. I'll take care of this myself. Oh, but you're the owner. I don't have a choice. It'll cost too much to hire people to do it. Besides, I can handle it, I think. As you say, sir. Well, leave it in your hands, then. Let us know if we need if you need our help. Here's a little money to use. Didn't we hire that other guy who was, who was hiring uh, chubby girls? We're just not going to ever acknowledge that? Okay. Here's 100,000 yen. The game store will not advance while you are recruiting girls for the club. Really? Walk around the streets of Camarocha until you find a girl you like. Really? Game story grinds to a halt while you go do hostess minigame bullshit. Seriously? Okay. All right, let's go scout some girls, I guess. Anywhere in particular or just run all over the city and just try to find them? I guess run all over the city and try to find them. I suppose I should do this methodically. I should head back to Sky Finance for- oh, really? We're just supposed to go back to Sky Finance? I thought we were looking all over the place for girls. Manager asked me to go scout for him. I've got to find some potential- Or should I stop recruiting for the moment? Oh, you son of a bitch game. Continue recruiting. Okay, where are you supposed to go? Here's a. F I'm just gonna look this up. Here's a four recruit hostesses. <sighs> okay, the guide says there's a guy outside the club you talk to. What you mean? You mean this guy? I'm supposed to talk to this guy first? Have you tried looking in front of the Millennium Tower? You can often find pretty girls there. Bars are a good place to look. I've heard that the underground mall is popular with young women. Oh, fuck you, game. Ooh. Okay, this woman. Why are you hanging out in a place like this? You're going home right this instant, young lady. I'm not a child anymore. I don't have to listen to you or anyone. I can't believe you went through my cell phone to snoop on me. That is seriously messed up. I just wanted to make sure you're not mixed up with a bad crowd, that's all. And what gives you the right to decide if my friends are good or bad, huh? I'm your father. That gives you the right. It's my job to look after you, to protect you. Well, I don't need you to protect me anymore. I'm leaving and never coming back. Hey, wait! Uh... I guess she went this way. Man, young enough that her father is still babying her and wearing ugly overalls. Obvious hostess material right here. Oh, I flew off the handle and said I'll never come back, but now what? I guess I can go grab my stuff when dad isn't home, but I can't afford to live alone. Hey, you could try working at a hostess club. A hostess club? Sure, look, I saw you fighting with your father earlier. I understand what you're going through. Oh, if you promise to work hard, I could even sort out a place for you to live. Really? Sure, but I'm not pretty or sexy. I'm hardly the hostess type. Yeah, exactly. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. Really? 
Well, I guess it's worth a try, at least for a little while. Thanks. I mean, it's not that she's ugly. It's that just the, the overalls are just like the denim overalls. And it's settled. Come on, let's go to the club. Welcome to Elise. We're going to make you into this club's number one hostess. You'll need to come up with a name to use in the club. What would you like your name to be? Why are we renaming her? It's Yori's fine. That's fine. Yori, how that works. You'll use the name of the club from now on. All right. First, let's get you changed to an outfit that brings out the your beauty. Do I still have the... Uh... Can I... Okay. Yeah, okay, I get it. Can we can we just use the defaults that we saved? Surely we can use our de our saved defaults. Not bad. Oh, this is a little embarrassing. It's time to go out to the club for her. Don't worry. All we get to do is dress her up in a dress first, and that's it. Have you heard of super service? Oh, yeah, when a hostess provides super radiant service. Okay. You can trigger super service by using certain combinations of outfits and training while the hostess has a high level of motivation. Then you do achieve it five times. All right, well, that's not going well. Gorgeous girls. I'm just, I'm amazed that they didn't even bother to change the dialogue prompts that come up for the minigame. The exact same, the almost the exact same minigame down to the dialogue. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. Save load. Load the gorgeous outfits. Use these saved settings, yes. Looking in your eyes. Finish. For your mind. Oh wait, actually, hang on. Oh, I didn't want to finish that actually. Because if I recall, I didn't actually set up everything because we were out of money last time. Training. I guess if we want gorgeous, we want to up looks, right? Her looks increase to C. Yep, oh, she's doing well now, all right. Oh, this is gonna be a long one. Oh, we can change hairstyles now. All right. Outfit selection. And that's fine. Hairstyle selection. The gorgeous hairstyle is supposed to be a curly updo. Looking in your eyes. Three, column two. Really? Red? All right. Uh, makeup should be all fine. Listen to the beat of my heart. I just want to be with you. Accessories. Earrings, necklaces. Oh, we do have access to nails now. Okay. Nothing. 
chain necklace. Nails. What are the nails? Gorgeous nails. Rings. Rings are irrelevant. Okay. Watches, that's fine. Bracelets is fine. Finish that. So we're gonna save this as the gorgeous one. All right, let's just load all of these ones in so they're done. All right, the hairstyle of the refined woman is apparently a standard or medium cut. All right, so we don't have to change that. Still don't have hair accessories. But now we do have the nails. The nails have been added. And I assume they're decorated nails, probably? No, nails are none. Okay. So we didn't have to change anything with this one. All right. I'm assuming the cute outfit requires cute nails. Yeah. Cute nails. Hmm. And the hair has to be short hair, eh? Load the gorgeous. To the beat of my heart. All right, so I believe the only things still missing are hair accessories, if, I, if that's correct. She seems stressed, but let's get her smarts up first and then free time on the last one. One up. I can tell you've been putting in work. Keep going. All right. Rank 20. All right. Is there any faster way? Hmm? 
Oh, she's stressed. Oh no. Let's give her some free time. Sorry there's not much to say about this, but there's just kind of like nothing going on, and it's just a repeat of something we've already did in Yakuza 3. I'm probably just going to skip over most of this when I upload the VOD to YouTube. Oh, her rank went down. Oh, no. Because in Yakuza 3, it was, oh, the current number one hostess at the club is stuck up. We need to put her in her place. This time, it's just, oh, the club's not making enough money, I guess. We need, we need cute girls. Oh, but also refined. Oh, that was it? Oh. Lecture. Lecture, relax, encourage. We increased most of it. So you actually only have to walk to the end here and then turn around. No. Okay, that's not actually correct. Hmm? Angered the customer. But yet, she's still there. Okay, then. They wanted to switch to cute, I believe. Oh, am I already in cute? No, okay. Looking in your eyes. So the, I guess the one difference is that unlike the last game, you can't like max the stats on every build on every part. You have to choose one lane or another. 
flashy, smooth talkers. Hmm? Oh, she's getting too stressed out. Rank has gone down. Oh. Okay, well now that we opened up the other options, hopefully things go better. She's not here today. She apparently skipped work. Hope this is the last time she pulls this kind of stunt. Oh, that's too bad. She skipped work. Oh, what are we going to do? Oh, I guess we're just going to run right back into the business and reload and it'll still do it. Oh, yeah, she's working. Flashy, charismatic. So it's like, again, I've just stressed once again that, you know, I'm sorry that this part of the stream is so boring. This is all gonna get cut out of the VOD on YouTube. It's just, there's like, there's just nothing to talk about here. It's just the same old mini game from Yakuza 3 with the same exact progression path. I'm seriously questioning if I should even continue it. I'm, de well, we'll do this. We'll do one. I mean, we're definitely not doing multiple. Just one host is fine. All right. Yeah. So we do that. Then we go free time, then relax. And then that should be good. It's also, it's also a little bit annoying that every time you come out of the manager room back there, that there's a there's about a two second delay between when the level loads in and when you can actually start moving. I'll point it out next time it happens. For 20. See, right here I can't move, and now I can move. Refinement and or gorgeous. Hmm? My gosh, she got someone's business card. Doing a great job. She must be feeling great too. I think I'm done surveying. Time to head to the back room. See, this is also bad design right here, which is, you know that people are gonna be going in and out of the club over and over and there's a save point right there that they're probably going to go to to save their progress so you put obstacles in the way just take these this car and this motorcycle and just move them somewhere else or get rid of them oh my gosh i cannot even imagine how tedious it must be to do this if you don't have a guide to follow if you ha if you have to change one thing at a time and test methodically over and over to see what increases your stats. That's just got to be miserable. Looking in your eyes. I still cannot believe that it's impossible that you can't skip any of that. 
it's just amazing to me that you can't skip that and that, that you have to watch that animation play out every single time. Well done. You witnessed five examples of super service. That means you completed the super service mission. See you next time. Rank up to 15th. Oh my gosh, it's going to take so long. Got a bit of a problem, sir. Left the club a while ago and hasn't come back. She didn't seem to be upset or anything, but she's not answering her phone. Okay, I'll try to find her. Thank you. Hmm, where would Yuri likely be likely to go? Uh. Oh my gosh. Hmm, what are you doing here? Oh, Akiyama. Hey there, how's the hostess life treating you? Getting used to it yet? Yes, my apartment is amazing. I could spend a whole day there and not feel bored. I'm glad to hear that, but don't forget to call now home now and then. What? No, I don't want to have anything to do with my father anymore. I don't even want to hear his voice. Aren't your aren't you your parents paying for your tuition? If you really wanted to cut ties with them, you'd have quit school. Okay, off to work now. There are lots of folks back at the club who want to see you. Alright. I want to prove that I can make it on my own. I'm gonna do this. Sounds like a tough situation. Nothing I can really do to help it though. Hopefully working at the club will help her figure things out. Jerry back? Yeah, thank you. Glad it was nothing. All right, that's all for today. See you. Okay, I received something new for the wardrobe. It's the hair accessory, right? Yeah. What? Oh, new earrings. All right. And new hair accessories. Our rank went up. Okay, good. Rank number two. All right, last one, right? And then we're done. All right, she's S in everything and has high motivation and low stress. So we should be good, right? Well done, Akiyama-san. See you next time. Oh my God, did that not cause a rank up? Please tell me we still ranked up. Oh, fuck off, really? Well done, Akiyama. See you next time. Please tell me the freaking rank went up. Oh my god, that wasn't enough. Yakuza 4 hostesses. How in the world do you, like, what is the cutoff for when you get number one? Uh huh. Raise all skills to S rank, have all the outfits ready, then have a shift where she doesn't get too stressed. Okay. Okay, well, I'm not really understanding what I have to do differently. So you just have to have three, three in a row where she's low stress, high motives. And he gives her a gift. Okay. All right, that should be good enough, right? If that's not good enough, then I'm, then I don't know what to do. Well done, Akiyama. See you next time. What the hell? How? Everything's maxed. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, what on earth do I have to do differently? Yakuza or hostess maker. Make sure the the stress level is at minimum at the end of the shift. Oh my gosh, that's just freaking ridiculous. Holy crap.
All right, so the next shift you start will make your hostess number one. Start by dressing up to appeal customers. The stress level's not at a minimum for whatever reason, but it was. Okay. Dress your hostess to increase your motivation to the max. For the next part, dress your hostess accordingly and use free time. For the last part, use relaxation and dress your hostess accordingly. Well done, Akiyama. Let's total up your earnings, shall we? So this should be it, right? Finally. Well done, Akiyama-san. Very impressive. You managed to take Hyori, the number one hostess. Looks like the manager would like to talk to you. You should go see what he wants. Hyori-san is now our number one hostess at the club. Thanks for all your hard work, sir. I didn't do that much. Oh, I did a lot, Akiyama. She's already a pro. Why don't you put together a special outfit for her to use from now on? Sure, whatever will help her do the best. The outfit you choose will be the one she wears in the club later. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first, let's get you changed into an outfit that brings out the best of your natural beauty. Don't worry, I guarantee you'll look great. Um. Okay, can I just pick anything? Well, what's wrong with what I have now? This is fine. Excellent choice, thank you. She'll be an asset to the club for a long time to come. Yori will now appear as a hostess in the club. Thank you for all your help, Akiyama. I still can't believe I'm the number one hostess. I just gave you a little advice. You did all the hard work. Oh no, I couldn't have done it without you. So, do you think you're going to be able to patch things up with your dad? No way, he's as stubborn as a mule. Once he digs in his heels, there's no changing his opinion. You sometimes get customers at the club who are about your father's age. You seem to get along with them well enough. Why is it so different with your father? There's a load of difference, Akiyama. What are you talking about? Because he's my dad. I mean, for one, my customers are actually nice to me. They're nice to you because you're not their daughter. They probably don't treat their own kids like they treat you at the club. Your father acts the way he does because he loves you. It's different than just talking to someone over drinks. You really should try and see things from his perspective. Maybe the next time I have a customer around my father's age, I'll ask him how he feels about all this. I think he might learn something. Good luck. Thank you for everything, sir. It's all thanks to you that our club has become this popular. That's good to hear. Thank you again, sir. Please accept this as a token of our appreciation. You got a 10G coin. I'll contact you again if anything else comes up. Was that it? That was it. That was not worth it. That took like an hour. That was so incredibly not worth it. Akiyama, you have those mouth-watering texture and awful dish recommendations for me yet? Tell him. Sure, I'm ready. First, please tell me what your favorite Yakuniku shop is called. I have, I guess, Kanrai. Kanrai on Shishifuku Street. Ah, so there's a great place on Shishifuku Street. Is there? Tell me, which other dishes has the best mouth water texture? I have no clue. Grade A sirloin. How about that? Grade A, yeah, Grade A sirloin? Sure. That's what you should order when you want to experience a parallel texture. Now, what would you say is their most unique awful dish? I have this one. Okay. Hopefully that works out. Hey, buddy, want to know what's happening around town? Sorry, buddy, I got nothing for you. Yep, okay. What is the point of even having that character when sub-stories already appear on the map? 
I need to talk to you about the club again, sir. Do you have the time to stop by? All right, I'll drop by later. Nope, we're not doing that. Well, okay, is it a continuation of Hiori's storyline? Maybe. I would do that. Or is he going to tell me the club is somehow underwater again? Oh, I'm sorry to call you here. Things are getting better thanks to you. We still have a shortage of girls, though. Oh, that could be a problem indeed. Okay, well... I guess I'll go recruit more hostesses. Have I even been in Cat by Alps? There's gotta be a locker key in here, right? Yeah. I just can't believe how weak and poorly implemented the hostess maker all of it is just everything about it the dates I can call are just the hostesses right And they and you can only sing raindrops. So yeah, I guess it's just me alone. How come wait, so I was able to call Hana Chan earlier. How come I can't call her again? How come there were so many more songs to choose from before? Get to the top. This cat choose the top. Why? Okay. Aren't there supposed to be a lot more songs than just these three? Yeah, why am I not able to do the other ones? I guess Akiyama is the only one who can do these ones, and then maybe the other ones are done by other characters? 
All right, what do we got? Oh, Chief, welcome back. Hey, Hanachan. Glad to see you're doing better. You really shouldn't mess with people like that. Don't you worry, boss. It'll never happen again. Not after all the self-defense training I've got planned. So, what happened with that lady who came here for the 100 million? What, Lily-chan? Please tell me you didn't loan her the whole thing at once. Actually, I did. Just now. What? Yeah, funny thing, really, and or don't be mad, but somehow I don't think we'll be seeing that money again. Whoa. What? What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. Lily-chan told me she'd pay it back, but I get the feeling that's not going to happen. And you lent it to her anyway. Pretty much. What's wrong with you? Yeah, that, that's pretty much my sentiments, Hana. What's the big deal? Last I checked, this was my company. I can lend money to who I want when I want. Chief. Besides, this is hardly the first time this sort of thing's happened. Why make a fuss about it now? What do you have against Lily-chan? Hannah-chan? What's wrong? Grrr, that's it, I quit. Yeah, I would quit too if I were Hannah. Well, that's not good. I need to go after her fast. Fast. Mm, need to go after her real fast here. Oh man, she could be getting away at lightning speed right now. Hmm. Yeah, that book. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta get after Hannah Chan. Let me look at my calendar. Yeah. Okay, definitely going after Hannah Chan right after. Check out what's on this shelf over here. Mm hmm. Nice flowers. Oh, this is a pretty good office, if I say so myself. All right, let's go after Hannah Chan. Right after... Okay, no, let's go. Chase Hannah! Oh, we're going to tackle her? Okay, sure. Are we going to throw bottles at her, too? running us pretty well. Screw my boss. Uh, okay. So, are you gonna tell me what's going- what's wrong or not? I don't get it, Chief. Why are you going out of your way for this Lily-san? Huh? I don't care if you're the owner. Lending that much to a total stranger is just plain crazy. Come on, Hannah Chan. She passed my test, so I gave her the loan. Same rules I hold everyone to. Don't lie to me, Chief. I know the real reason you did it. What? It's because she reminds you of Ari-san. Don't try to deny it. Hanachan, please. It's not like that. Just hear me out. Say what you need to say. It's true. I was pretty blown away at first. I mean, it's not every day the splitting image of your ex comes walking through your office door. Oh, she just coincidentally looks like the woman in the photograph? Calm down. Okay. Uh-huh. And I won't deny that I have feelings for Lily-chan. Pretty face, great personality, an air of mystery. She's got the whole nine yards. Didn't you just establish that she's a, a serial killer? But that's not why I gave her the loan. You know I wouldn't do that. Still, you don't believe me, do you? No, it's just I already knew all that, and it doesn't change the fact that I'm mad at you. Come on, Hannah-chan. Don't you Hannah-chan me. What are you doing dragging all that baggage around? Eri sounds never coming back. Why can't you accept that? Or did you forget how she left you for another man the minute you got fired? It was never about you, Chief. She was only in it for the money. If, so they're talking like Hannah goes way back with... With uh, Akiyama, but I thought... Or at least I was under the assumption, at least, that, the, that they didn't meet until he needed a secretary. But maybe they go back further than that? Leave Eri out of this. Chief, I don't. Hearing you talk about her like that only makes it worse. But, you're right. Hannah-chan, I've got a lot of baggage weighing me down. I had honestly thought I could get rid of it all, live free. But I guess there are some things I just can't let go of. That's just who I am, and I don't think that's ever going to change. Someone as stubborn as you? Not a chance. Heh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. That doesn't mean I'm going to just magically forgive you. No, guess not. Do I get credit for at least trying? Chief. Hmm? I'm still quitting. Hannah-chan. Today made me realize our relationship is a little too co codependent. 
I've been with you eight years now, ever since your banking days. Oh, okay. I've always admired you, Akiyama, Ak Akiyama, but I think I need some space. There's a lot I still have to figure out about my future in the industry, about my feelings for you. But, no buts. You've done so much for me over the years, and I know it won't be easy for you being on your own, but you'll be okay, I'm sure of it. Hanachan, wait. Goodbye, Akiyama. See what you did, Akiyama? The one responsible person in your life is quitting because you're a fucking asshole. Akiyama! Thank goodness! Some seriously shady customers just showed up. They look like Yakuza. So, we get people like that all the time. Yes, but there's more. Apparently, they know Lily-san and they keep asking to see her. They're starting to make a scene. Lily-san, that could be a problem. Yes, sir. Normally, I'd handle this myself, but they came in a big group. Okay, hang tight. I'll be right over. Subordinates are not impressed. Like, oh, this guy's doing this fucking bullshit again, dragging us along to the host club to hear him sing karaoke. Goddamn, hate my boss. Oh, it's a parallel to the last scene. Hannah Chan also hates her boss. Majima's boys, eh? Das Dasuke Minami of the Majima family. Daisaku? Daisaku Minami? So, the Kamurocho Hills Kenses in Karanderu, Tojo Kaino Dai Kampuno? So, yeah? Ah, no, Majima Guni. Oh, just a Oh, please, 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 please challenge us to a karaoke competition with the Yakuza badass. Oh, no karaoke competition. いや、送信ボタンを押したつもりだったんですが、押し間違っちゃったみたいで。うん。申し訳ない。暗かったもんで、つい。暗かったから、つい押し間違えた。兄ちゃん。その話、ほんまやな。いや。Did あ、あの、南さんでしたっけ?あ、まあ。あの、南さんのご用件は何なんでしょうか。おお、それやそれ。この店にリリって女がおるって聞いてな。オッケー、ジャスト彼女は本日をもって店を退店しました。あ、なんだ。それ困るわ。彼女に何かご用ですか？そう。俺も親父からその女連れてこい言われただけやからな。親父。親父ってあの真島さんにですか？そういうことや。せやから。リリって女の居場所教えてもらえないかいお客様申し訳ありませんがキャストのプライベートを教えるわけにはいかないんですよ。Why don't you just tell them the truth that you actually don't know where she went? お引き取りください。あ、なんやと。私はね、一度自分の店で働いたキャストを理由もなく売るような真似はできないんですよ。なんや。
cook, but you a but you actually don't know where she went. So just why not just tell the truth? I want to be a good owner. おもろい兄ちゃんやな。じゃけどこっちも遊びはない。ヤクザが何もせんとただで帰るわけがないやろ。金ですか。何もちゃう。ちゃんとあんたの口からその兄ちゃんの居場所聞き出さんごとには。
You know, something I was wondering, why is Majima's eye patch a snake? この遅かった リリーは柴田組に追われていた。まさか真島さん、あんたもそのことに関係しているんですか。そうなんか。柴田組が教えてください、真島さん。リリーは一体何者なんですか。なぜあんたたちに追われなきゃならないんですか。あいつは安子ちゃんは俺が守らなあかんねや。安子。それがリリーの本名ですか。なんであなたが守る必要があるんですか。それが。Cuz Part one complete. And now we switch to Majima. Man, the Yakuza in these games always have such awesome back tattoos. Oh, Oh。So she's the brother's girlfriend, I'm guessing, wife. まだ4月やっちゅうのに何やねんなこの暑さは。え、何や、30度もあるらしいわ。ほんまこの国がぶっ壊れとんのとちゃうか。この国っちゅうよりもこの世界やろ。これがいわゆる環境破壊っちゃ
まがいもんは一切なし同島組経由で仕入れた正真正銘の本物や拳銃は全部で6丁1丁につき6発撃てるとして36発発射できる36発か相手は上野義治とその場にいる清和会の連中全員何人くらいになりそうや10人弱ってとこやろなそうやったら一人頭に34発使えるっちゅうことやな十分な数や I was never clear on why they wanted to kill all these guys in the first place. Nah, kill that. Huh? Nigga, that's not a. I'm a no chida. Nitai Jew. Shoot, I ye. 圧倒的に不利な戦いだそれにたとえ成功したとしても短くて10年下手すりゃ無期懲役や死刑だってありえる Well, yeah, if you're caught murdering 10 people, I'm pretty sure that's life at the, at the least 俺は天外孤独の身だ島野の,の親父を親父と呼ぶようになってから覚悟はできてるでもお前にはヤスコちゃんがいる。西島、お前本当にヤスコちゃんを残したままでいいのか？兄弟、関西弁忘れとるで。あ？お前、人が真剣に喋ってる時に。俺は覚悟できとるよ。俺もお前と同じや。支えの親父のためやったら何でもやる。それに。それに試してみたいんや。西島大河中男が、この登場会でどこまで登れるのかを。Is it really nothing more than a power play? Hmm. Yeah, and then Majima, his higher ups come in and tell him don't go. ササイ組のサイジマや今マジマと待ち合わせの時間なんやけどあいつ来えへんねああそうやちょっとそっちで来よったああもうええ切るでなんや10人以上おるやないかはい。
of the other guys have guns? fire like six times and only one of his shots hit him That's one thing I never got though, like you go into your tell your victim like sorry, you know, sorry, it's nothing personal. It's like who does it matter to them whether it's personal or not? You're still killing them, aren't you? Part two, chapter one, to 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 the truth. Okay, you know what? That cutscene was more gripping and interesting than anything that has happened in the game so far. A few hours after the attack, Taiga Saijima of the Tojo clan Sesai family is arrested for murder after surrendering to the Kamurocho police. Police suspect the attack to be part of the feud between the powerful Tojo clan and its adversary, the U Ueno Sewa clan. Why did he surrender to the police? Executive involvement of both clans is investigated as police began, begin interrogation of Saijima. However, Saijima maintains his silence throughout the interrogation. Unable to establish a direct link to the Tojo clan, police conclude that the incident was a one-man job. Saijima is sent to the prosecutor's office. A few months later, 20-year-old Taiga Saijima is given the death penalty for the murder of 18 members of the Ueno Sewa clan and is immediately transferred to the Tokyo Penitentiary. Okay, but he wasn't killed, so why not? Decades later, on March 1st, 2010, after 25 years of awaiting his execution, Taiga Saijima is suddenly issued a transfer order. Why so long? Okay, well, there needs to be an explanation for that. Man, not even any still images for that, eh? Just text on back, te white text on black background. So he's 45 now? Oriro.
I have so many questions. Why did he volunteer for this job? Why did he give himself over to the police afterwards? Why was his execution not... Why did that not happen for 25 years? What is his relationship with Yasko? That's another one. I, I'm assuming brother-sister. Also, Yasko does not look anywhere near the same age as uh, Saejima. ここがお前の棒だ。入れ。手錠出せ。食事は17時。それ以外の細かな規則に関しては私たち死刑が執行されるまで少しでも長く生きたいならせいぜい目立たないようにするんだなそう mm -hmm. so somehow he's going to get out of prison somehow what the aren't you taiga saijima Hmm. It really is you, isn't it? <laughs> Holy shit, Saejima, the Stone Cold Hitman, you're a friggin' legend. Ain't that right, fellas? I'm not a hitman. Say what? I said I ain't no hitman. Uh, guys, what's going on here? Anta, ni Saejima nano ka? <笑>本当にあの冴島隊がなのかって聞いてんだよ。そうやったら何やね。神様ってやつは本当にいるんだな。どうやら俺らにも運が回ってきたみてえだ。俺らが誰か分かってるよ。<笑> And you guys still care about that all this time later? Oh, am I gonna control Saejima? And not Majima? そんな簡単なもんじゃねえ。俺らの人生をめちゃくちゃにしてくれた。あんたへの復讐だ。あんたに死刑は必要ねえ。きっちり俺らの手でぶっ殺してやるぜ。All right. Read them fighting style. Hold down Y. Okay, hold on Y. Hold down Y while after an unarmed combo with X to execute a charge attack? What? Okay. So. Oh 
前の人生がめちゃくちゃになったのが親が死んだせいちゃうやろが Is the guy smiling at him? Is that the guy who Kiryu. Is that the guy who stabbed Kiryu at the end of the last game? Ah, you are to the guy! さっきの勢いはどうしたああ<笑>なんだその目はまだ殴られたのかおいおいおいおいおい斎藤おい斎藤おい斎藤終わりだこのよなんだこいつは今日は執行日じゃないだろうここまでだ<笑>どうしてだ別にいいだろうかこんなクズ一人殺したところで先月もそうやって二人殺しただろうちょっとやりすぎだ命拾いしたな I mean, there has to be a prison break, right? I can't see any other way that he gets out of the prison. They're not going to release him. Omaini, Okak Sanda. Onorewa, Takakuzo. 外のやつに指示してあんたの口座に一本振り込ませておくそれでいいだろう<笑>ちょうど車検でな新しいのに買い替えようと思ってたんだ助かるよ<笑>あんまり長いすんなよじゃあ Is this the same guy? Kind of looks like him. You okay? That asshole whooped you good. Who's asking? Name's Hamazaki. Yeah, it, it is. That's the guy, right? Tojo Clan, same as you. I was one of the big boys till I wound up here last year. Had my own family and everything. That's so. Didn't think I'd be a living legend in this hellhole. 18 kills in one go is a hard feat to forget. What's your game?、Mm -hmm. Not sure what you mean. The guards ain't gonna be too thrilled about this outside of the one you just paid off, I mean. And this place has gotten more in its share of psychos. Can't imagine they'd be happy knowing you came by to see me. <laughs> you don't know a goddamn thing about where you are, do you? This is no ordinary prison, friend. How's that? Let me ask you a question. You know what this place is called? Yeah, Okinawa Penitentiary Number Two.、Uh. Good. The thing about that is, though, no penitentiary by that name officially exists. Not in Okinawa, not in Japan, not anywhere. Yeah, sure. Like I'm falling for that. It's the truth. You look on the map and all you see is some nameless correctional facility. Nothing out of the ordinary. When in fact, it's a privately funded high security prison built under government contract. And nobody raises an eyebrow or nothing? Why would they? On paper, this place is just like any other correctional facility an easy, humanitarian way of dealing with the rising prison population. But the truth lurking under the surface is damn sinister. The only reason it exists is to make Yakuza like us disappear, no questions asked. What do you mean, disappear? Pretty sure you can guess that corrections officer who was laying into your. into you has buried a few guys just the last month or so. Takes them in here and beats them to death. In this room, huh? Yep, not a pretty sight once he's done, I'll tell you that. Worst part is, they don't even own up to it. Official cause of death always ends up illness or some other random bullshit. Remember, this place was built for the worst of the worst. You die in here, and not a damn soul's gonna bother asking why. That's goddamn insane. But it's the truth. Good news is, it goes both ways. Most of the guards in here are more than corrupt enough to take a bribe or two. <laughs> Makes life a little easier for me, at least. So, what's all this gotta do with me? You dropped a mill to get to me. Well, here I am. Spit it out already. 
I need your help with something. The next day. So yeah, they're literally going to escape? Seriously? レノブツだ。監視の目を盗んで、その手のプロだった囚人に小部刺した。これでお前は棒を抜け出せるはずだ。まだ俺はやるとは言うてへん。やるさ。あんたはやる。やるに決まってるさ。<笑> ああ、そうだ。上野瀬は今も都内の島で活動している。組織を拡大してな。お前、俺が社場のこと何も知らん思て。出たらめ言うとるんだ、ジャンガイ。嘘じゃねえ。それに上野は今じゃ東条会の親
最初から計画されていたことだったんだよ。How does he know none of this? Like, no information got to him in prison over this entire time? So, the reality of it all soaked in yet? Look, I get it. Shit stings knowing your own brother went and stabbed you in the back. No, he didn't. Oh,、well, I guess this guy could just be lying. But now that you know the truth, I don't imagine you'll be happy just sitting in here nice and quiet till it's your day to hang. That snake in the grass, Majima, has been living the high life, throwing his weight around Kamarocha like he's the king of the damn world. While you're rotting away in this hellhole, stuck shoving down some of the worst slop known to man just to survive. That's not the textbook definition of fucked over. I don't know what is. Why does Hamazaki want revenge against Majima, though? He should want Kiryu dead, right? The way I see it, you've only got one shot at settling the score. But you're never going to do that if you don't get out of here. We'll make our escape tonight at 1 o'clock while everyone's sound asleep. I'll get out of my cell using one of the two keys I had made. You do the same with the other. I'll wait by the entrance till you're out. If he had the ability to escape from prison all this time, why did he wait specifically until Saijima showed up? Next step is all you. Once you're ready, throw your bed down over the rail to distract the guards. They'll be on your ass in an instant, so just keep them busy while I slip behind and head for the warden's office. We'll meet there once you're done dealing with the guards. At the warden's office? Why there? There's something there I'm going to need once we're on the outside, but don't worry about that. Right. After we reconvene, we book it across the yard over to the far wall, the one with the guard tower. Once we make our way up with a grappling hook. Excuse me, grappling hook? Excuse me, grappling hook? Excuse me? <coughs> Once we make our way up with a grappling hook, we'll be home free. A grappling hook? How the hell do you get a hold of something like that? I haven't, not yet. What? That's where you come in. Keep talking. Your job is to find something we can use as a rope and some kind of hook to go with it. Oh, yeah, that's when, we, that's when we make our way out of here by using the thing we don't have. But just go find one. Is that a freaking locker key in the background between the two guys in the distance? Yeah, and how are you expecting me to do that? We get all kinds of interesting folks in here. And those interesting folks smuggle in all sorts of interesting stuff. Weapons, food, you name it. So what? You want me to barter? More or less. There's one guy in particular who will really get things moving. Take a look. The weapon dude! Right? Poor bastard had a booming business down here in Okinawa. Got caught up in a Yakuza shitstorm, though. Ended up busted for illegal arms manufacturing. Lucky for us, his skills got him in good with the guards. They even let him set up a little workshop in here. How would his ability to make weapons get him in good with the guards? As long as he's got the materials, he can make damn near anything. All you gotta do is get what he needs. Anyway, let me know once you've got that grappling hook. Better hurry, though. Daylight's fading fast. Get ready for the jailbreak. Oh, they're not locker keys. They're. Take the mugwort. Sure. You got mugwort. <laughs> Huh? Oh, it's more mugwort. Okay, sure, yeah, take the mugwort. Hmm. I've got two mugworts. Grass that grows naturally in Japan, often served mixed into sticky rice cakes. So I have to say,、uh, so yeah, this is going to be the end of it for the day, but I'm going to just brief, briefly talk about. So 
Saijima, I mean, we don't know much about him yet. We know he's, I guess, kind of stoic. Or at least from what we've seen of him. Stoic, determined, whatever. The point is, I'm way more intrigued by Saijima and everything going on in his storyline than I have been by anything up to this point in the game. It's so bewildering because it's... It's like everything to do with Akiyama up to this point has just been utterly boring. And then we suddenly get... Oh, here, we're going to radically shift perspectives to a different character with a different backstory. And all of it has just been so entertaining so far. That whole uh, gunfight against the 18 guys, that was so gripping. I was just glued to the screen during that. Where was that kind of... Where was that kind of intrigue and entertainment in the entire first, what, 10 hours or so of the game that we've played up to this point? Wait, how do I have any money? Okay, well. Oh, yeah, so for the time being. Yeah, so those are my thoughts at this at this time. All right. Let's save and pick things up later. All right. That's going to do it for today. The Kiza Marathon returns tomorrow.